Just another podcast. Pie boys, pie boys. Yeah, that's us. Episode 19. 19 right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AKA. Don't say that. Well, he's like, damn, he told my punchline. It's not a punchline. AKA. Black man don't cheat. Black Black man don't cheat. Your bitch ain't shit. (laughs) Hey, that song is hard, bro. Hard as fuck. Hard. That's Girls is mad. If black men don't cheat, then wait till I release my DMs. You know, dry ass DMs, right, bitch. Yeah, Nobody yeah, in your DMs. Yeah. Like, that nigga, that he nigga don't, mixed, they, they not together. <laughs> Go ahead, release. They the just DMs. chill and he right, live with her, right. but they not, it, together. they not together. Bro, black men don't cheat. AKA Big Gem Talk. AKA Ninety Minute Boys. AKA Toast the Truth Talk. Toasted strudel. Toasted strudel. Toasted strudel. You having a stroke, nigga? Make that girl a toasted strudel, not a mom. Let's go <laughs> make, her, make her a toasted strudel, not a mom. You said my left? Yeah, keep Think about it. You having a stroke? As you can see, guys, we're having a really good time today. We got a great show. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the yeah, fathers. Shout out to Wait, fathers, we bro. missed two, two hashtags. Shoot your shot on a song. Oh, shoot. Oh. And he too. He, he too, too moving. I said he too early. Oh, I ain't hear it. It's all good, bro. Say it again. I ain't hear the shoot your shots on there, though. But yeah, happy I didn't Father's say shoot your shots on there. Happy Father's Day. Um, happy Father's Day, Briss. Happy Father's Briss. Day, Briss. Fetish Day. Appreciate it, y'all. Oh, my yeah. fault. Shit, I'm Kadeem, your host. We got Rusty here. <laughs> Lil <laughs> Rusty. Lil Rusty's in the building. My Brother L's. Chris Featherston. Make sure you say the fucking Featherston. Salutations. We got Young Ron. Briss. We gonna fight Ron later. We got my nigga <laughs> the Lydia, <laughs> aka Liddy. We got Koi Boy over there on the on the ones and twos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 right, right. All right, guys. Yo, I thought we I thought we got the sound bar. What was the sound bar? I, look, I gotta I gotta really work to get oh, all the sounds. Uh, he trying to we get do. Right, trying I to want that shit to be fire. Like Steve Jobs. I, I want to be able to be like <laughs> we just pull up, up on me. me. I said I was like, you gonna get a pull up on pull me. Pull up on me. Pull up on me. I need that. You need three different buttons. You gotta get that. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. See it? You have different banks of clips already. So I wanna be able to get all my clips. Lydia said I should do uh We need our own clips too. Air horn of me going and that should just be it instead of using the That's fire. Yeah. So So that's a lot of work, guys. Y'all can help, but y'all let me know. We need we need is this we need He's like, Are you gonna give me the Serato? No, no, we need we need is this your queen. Is this your queen? <laughs> this your queen? These niggas is lying to get they shit. Oh, oh, yeah. We need that on there too. We definitely need that one on there too. We see exactly. All about that. Exactly. And when I asked you niggas in the chat, like y'all got any suggestions? Nobody said nothing. That's a perfect. Yeah, I missed that one. Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a lot of work. I'm so gonna come over this. We got bro. sounds yeah, coming, niggas. Probably. F- mm. Damn, twenty makes it. Mm. What? what? We'll have it before episode twenty-five for Are sure. Are you really having a struggle? Why did you take the jacket off? Put that pipe down, bro. No, I got the Geigers on today. Oh, look at him. Slight flex. Flex alert. I'm surprised he just didn't Flex alert. <laughs> All right, guys. First things first, man. Blue for, blue for Sudan. Yeah. What's what's going on over there, man? Brother Ellison, you educated on this situation? I'm slightly educated on it. Speak on it. I got to look it up on my phone. I mean, it's really nothing to speak on, for real. All right. They got it's really, it. Really, it, no, it really isn't. Like they, It's crazy over there. This shit is like, it's normal over there. They got a dictator president. They overthrew. Right. They threw him out. And they transitioned they into the a coup. democracy. Yes, correct. And they they military is wilding, <laughs> bro. But that's like a lot of well, countries over there whatever be wilding. A lot of people <laughs> military over there be wilding. And mm-hmm. then the United States want to carry their ass over there and try to dictate shit. Yeah, so they can uh, set up shop. Right. So, I mean, it's it's, it's been over a thousand fatalities, rapes of women, children, and it, I seen men on the list. Um, Wait, niggas and just in the first three that? days, 113 killed, 650 arrested, mm-hmm. 48 women raped, six men raped, and a thousand missing. A thousand yeah. missing, bro. That's crazy. But, I mean, it it is. <clears throat> but this isn't like the Sudan. first time of me hearing shit yeah. like or, or, or in countries like this. It's not. I don't know. Maybe it's like you said, like a couple episodes back. Like maybe I'm desensitized. Maybe. Maybe. Um. But there's still whatever's going. Like the world's been going crazy. Last couple of weeks, we had a helicopter hit a building in New York. Right. We got this going on. Um, this morning, I seen like uh, Iran bombed two tankers, like U.S. military vessels. I ain't, I ain't Shit's that. crazy. So, yeah, <clears throat> our prayers go out to everybody in Sudan going through it. Sweet, you know. Y'all changing your profile pic? 
when you I I was gonna try to change the podcast profile pic I'm for dead. a second, but then I was like, does that create solidarity between my podcast brother? It was an Instagram know. page. It was like everybody who changed their profile pic to blue, we gonna send a meal or something to Sudan. I was like, why the fuck? Why don't y'all just send meals to Sudan? Right? Why yeah. do I need? Why do you need me to sit like change my profile? For you to say, okay, yep, we got another one, send a meal. Yeah. No, just send a meal, bro. Oh, yeah, and that's what happened, too. They cut off the internet access, mm. so they couldn't gather, yeah. like, efficiently. Yeah. Right. But I don't, I don't so. do none of that shit. Like, even, like even when it happened in mean, Virginia Beach, they were like, oh, we're blue tomorrow. For what? Yeah. For what? That ain't going to bring them people Four, back. 14 or 15 people got, well, two people got killed in, in Holly Cove, and 14 people, 14 other people got injured. Yeah, there was nothing for that. There was no yeah. uh, mm-hmm. hashtag Holly Cove strong yeah. or Chesapeake it was, strong it was, it was then. nigga nonsense. Yeah. Like, Predominantly no. white is what happened at Why? the municipal center. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, I'm not trying to hear that. No, I'm good on that. But I'm prayers pick, up to them, man. Honestly, prayers like, out. Yes, we, we we. This country has its issues, but not nearly as hard That's as crazy, issues that are yeah. across the water. So right, and they're be taking them. that for granted. <clears throat> Definitely take it for granted. All right, so blue for Sudan. Our prayers go out to everybody over there. Next, we gonna talk about some real shit that we actually probably care more about. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't talk, say talk about some real shit that we care about. <laughs> nah, I care about that, but it, like you said, it don't really affect us. So it's like, how do you feel about people making their shit blue? Y'all just they do just your research blue, right? and um, whatever way you want to help them, help them. But ain't about big facts. Think about it. Big gym people, talk. People that be like so like posting it on their IG, you just posting it because it's the cool thing, not the cool thing, but like the trendy thing it's to do. It's the trendy thing to do. You're not. You're wearing blue. You don't. You don't care about people that that died in that court. You don't know none of them. You don't care about them. Mm-hmm. You don't. Uh, people are so fake. Shout outs to the people who ain't doing n- posting nothing on social media, they're but they're actually, actually doing helping. Something. Yeah. Shout out to y'all because yeah. y'all yeah. not gonna get no. Those people are dope. Yeah. Posting on your IG just for a show, you're not actually helping. Fuck out. Shit, corny. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Serious issue. Uh, y'all seen the young black man that was um. On the corner in California, they had him on the ground, but they had like all the big guns on my guy. Right. Do we want to get into that a little bit? That shit. Now, I seen some other. I seen some posts about that. Okay. But like, damn, I hate speaking on it because I don't know what it said. But basically, the post is like, homie was in the wrong about something, and but I don't know. Okay. I mean, all right. So you can be in the wrong, but yeah, he I'm had no say, weapon. You can be in the wrong. <laughs> But you got fucking military issued weapons Assault pointed rifles. at you. Yeah. Like his arms behind his head, he's on yes. his knees. That's when you run up and detain him. Yes. Like <laughs> So even it. if he was in the wrong, they still you make it look like, yo, this nigga done body. Right. <laughs> but it's almost like they sit there and wait for you to fuck up. Like the nigga did what y'all said. Yeah. Do your job. Yeah. Don't wait for him to slip up or, or let his hand slip down or whatever. Boy, that nigga would have flinched. Oh, he did. He moved his hands. I was like, oh, shit. I feel yeah. like the lady. The At first, I didn't want to watch the that video. That lady saved right. his life, definitely. Yeah, because she was right there on it. Yeah. And <laughs> a lot of black women, I've seen black women in outrage. And they're, 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 they're turning the attention to the fact that those women standing there with guns on him looked Hispanic. So they were like, see, these girls ain't got y'all back for real. I was like, god <laughs> damn. That's crazy. <laughs> they went there with it? <laughs> they zoomed down on them bras because they looked like, they, look like they <laughs> was Hispanic. They're that. following some weird people. Yeah, I didn't those see women that. looked like they was Hispanic. They kind of did, but I didn't see anybody like and they had, like out. you said, they had the military grade. <laughs> like this, yeah, yeah. What is really about to happen? <laughs> God damn, they're trying to blow a hole through my dude. Y'all hear about the dude that got shot like forty-four times? Yeah, or something like forty-seven. That? Forty, yeah, forty-seven times. No, I didn't. Yeah, enlighten me. How do you, how do you get shot forty-seven times? No I'm weapon. J- no, that's insane. They were still shooting him while his soul was leaving. His soul was looking at him getting they shot. Might have shot that. That how many times he got <laughs> shot? God, like it's crazy. Then the other lady. Gets pulled up on it at uh, Dollar Tree for her daughter I saw that taking too. a 99 cent ba- uh, Barbie doll out and like a fucking SWAT team swarms her damn God car. Damn, wow. I stole something from Dollar Tree when I was little. Shit. Oh, shout out to Ho for being like, uh, he sent his legal team to represent that's them. Oh, that's dope. Ho is all, like, Ho sees everything. He do be everywhere. That nigga sees every fucking thing. Yeah. But yeah, that's crazy. 99 cent doll and you get the whole SWAT, uh, SWAT team. team. They're pointing guns at the kid in the car. <laughs> Y'all, Put like, your fucking hands I up, little girl. Black people in captivity, bro. We got they keep showing us. Yeah. We in captivity. Yeah. It's just the zookeeper. That's how they see us. Everybody, be safe out there. That's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Be aware of your surroundings. Yeah, no, nah, ain't no be safe, bro. Like safe don't safe don't keep you safe. 
It don't. don't. But like, you true. got people that's doing shit the exact right way and like dying. Like homie, like whether he did something wrong or not, like he got shot forty seven times. But believe it or not, Elliot, there's a lot of people out there who still believe in the justice system. They still believe in our government. They still think that this place is such a, a magnificent place to be. Yeah. I work in the justice system, and ain't no justice in it, I'm telling you. Yeah, the justice system is severely, well, you know, we talked about this. You said it wasn't flawed because it's working like it's supposed mm-hmm. to. Yeah, it's definitely. It ain't broke. <clears throat> so that it shit, ain't broke. Shit is working but perfectly. But then, it, like, <laughs> what Chris is saying, like, it's America still, bro. But us, it's, it's not a lot of places where it's like, yeah. Yeah, for us that's, that's the point there's people that think it's broken they don't think that it was made for this it's working no it's supposed to do this look just like it's, it was intent, uh, intended intended actually to. working like a machine right now but yeah facts all right get that sad shit out the way <laughs> that should be bringing down the vibe man for yeah, real yeah. y'all just be Things aware be all somber. <laughs> just, just be aware of what's going on man that's where y'all at just know where y'all at that's man. when we should just start playing no guidance america is that Nigga, chick what? with all the makeup on you get in the morning and that makeup gone bro that ain't the one that you thought she was. She won't, but like <laughs> when you want to change the vibe, this, this nigga shit. really played this shit. Hold on, shit. this your, uh, what's this? <laughs> when you gotta change the vibe, <laughs> your vibe, <laughs> the vibe. Keep it, keep it under Stay twenty-two optimistic. seconds. I got you, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. that's like already the summer anthem, bro. So Just like that, we on some different shit. Damn, that's all you needed. Playoffs. <laughs> Playoffs. <laughs> That shit over. That shit over, bro. Shout out to the Raptors. Raptors and six. Raptors and six. <laughs> what, the six what was that? Six that was six. a cat. Hold on. Hey. Is that a Raptor, bro? No. <laughs> that was a cat in the finals. <laughs> he got a hairball. <laughs> what the fuck? Shout out to the Raptors. Shout out to Kawhi. Oh, Shout out to um, Kawhi. Kawhi. Kyle Lowry went, went hard in the He Kyle did. Lowry he was balling. Run a ring before CP3, bro. Ooh. Shit. <laughs> I didn't think about that. When you put that shit in perspective, want a ring before John Stockton. What y'all think DeRozan <laughs> doing? He want a Fuck ring that. Before Jeremy Carl Lin won a ring before CP. Nigga, what? What y'all Lin think DeRozan Sandy. doing, though? DeRozan is he on Suicide Watch. Wished him well. Wait, y'all seen a tweet, uh, uh, IG post, anything from DeRozan? I think he did. I think he did congratulate Kyle Lin. Okay. He had an interview with Taylor Rooks. This Kyle Lin was cool, though. It was like yeah, super Taylor Rooks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we gonna get to we it, Willie. Damn, you bro. know what? what? That's strike one. Strike one. I don't care. Willie's here, man. Willie just here to get his shit off. Golly, we got to talk about Katie's injury. Who, who hired you? Katie came in and was giving him work. Bruh. Uh, what? Twelve points in eleven minutes. Or Twelve 11? points. Should this nigga have been dunking in the pre in the pregame warm up? I don't think he should be doing that silly ass dance either. Oh, oh, fuck out of here, Katie. Now look at you. God damn, was he too comfortable? He's yes. still gonna get a max deal. And he is. He's still KD. So it doesn't bro. matter. Of course, but he'll he'll probably never be KD again. Like the the, the um, team doctor already said, he'll never be a uh, eighty two game a year guy no more. Like we'll never get that KD. Really? Again. Yeah, he's yeah. tall as fuck, bro. bro it's his it's his Achilles. It's unfortunate, bro. I told my Achilles. I know. I know. He'll still be able to get that jumper. Games. Though. I know. That's what I'm saying. Ever. I but wouldn't I play eighty two <laughs> games anyway. Huh? I wouldn't play eighty two games anyway. I'm saying you're not. He's not playing seventy. Bro. It's sad, man. You might get a strong 65 from Katie him. can still shoot the I ball. I literally so was saying, right. like, I t- yeah. like I told my family was watching the game, I was like, well, this nigga's bringing the ball up the court. They just yeah, let him go. Lot, yeah. The thing with KD he was playing is, like though, 100%. he's a seven-foot nigga that can, like, handle the ball and get past you now. Yeah. Now he's a catch and shoot. He's a seven-foot he shooter. He just yeah. bones, man. He got to get in the he gym. Is, it's, it's too, too late, bro. It's, yeah. It's 30. too late. It's over. He, they said he tried to. He tried to get in the gym? He Look, but he didn't have no protective sleeve when he got back in or anything. Nothing. Just out there the wilding. <laughs> and them KDs ain't all that no ball in there. Them just, first of all, them just Zion. <laughs> them Zion. Watch your mouth. And first of all, they were Paul them Zion. George. They were Paul George's. <laughs> they were Paul George's. Okay? Watch your mouth. Hey, but he said them Zions. That's funny. Mm. That's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. Katie, Katie <laughs> call me, bro. <laughs> All right. I remember when I told my shit, Kadeem walked on me, walked up on me. Yo, you bro, you told your Achilles. I was like, shut the fuck up. I could tell, nigga. The way I was that like, nigga went there, he was like, oh, up. shit. <laughs> Just like Katie, Katie was like, Mm-mm. Chris was like, <laughs> I was like, he was like, no, nah, I'm gonna get up. I was like, nigga, no, you not, <laughs> bro. It's over. <laughs> Sit down. Nigga, hey, yo, that nigga what? Clay. W- yeah, but court, say, all court? niggas is talking about. Did he get hurt too? Yeah, that nigga yeah, Clay. Yeah. Oh, bro, nigga, that was, shit was hold up. nasty. Every Every injury he had in the playoffs, I feel like was a, a product of flopping, bro. You, 
He didn't flop Bro, on that last one. You Ooh, don't need play? you don't need to spread your going up for a dunk. You don't need to spread your legs out like that when you go up for a three point shot. You go up for a dunk and a nigga hit the was ball. Was he not he looking was... for the foul on that three point shot where he uh messed his hands? He probably, probably. Like yeah. That. That nigga don't land like that, bro. That's the point of getting the foul, Chris. That's the point of getting the foul. That's what I'm talking about. So that's not, I mean, that's not really Bro, foul, I feel bro. like, I feel like he was anticipating the foul on both of them. On the both dunk? Both of them instances, yes. How I feel like he was. Flop he was, on a dunk. Yeah, and he was trailing. I feel like he was, bro. You saw how he landed? I've never what seen anybody flop for a dunk. Hmm? You see how he landed? Yeah. yeah. You gonna watch the game? Anyway. You about to chat? Watch what? About the shot. That's strike two, Russ. That's what shot? Two. What shot are you talking about? Couch, you're not paying attention. Willie, what, what shot are you talking about? You're about to be out of here. 80 to Lakers, bro. We are back. Are we done with the finals? Let's <laughs> This nigga's go. ready. LeBron! <laughs> That's really reality because it was like they didn't give Toronto a two days. Fuck Toronto. Man, no, no, no. First, of all, first of all, hold on. First of all, like even when they won, like it was like the weakest celebration of all Bruh, time. Because, like they won a regular season because game. He wanted, Ka- Ka- your man. I was like, did they win? Because he wanted to uh, run them to that that playback. And it, it's like, yeah. Was like, I was like, Kawhi, y'all won, bro. Just this shit is weak. Just let it go. Oh, no, I he didn't like, want to get a shot. Right, so, and one. Like, hey, no, nah, nigga, and one. I want my buckets. <laughs> but I was New balance, running check. I was like, did they win? Is it over? And Hold up. What about Draymond on his Chris Webber shit? Oh. <laughs> First of all, I don't even know what we talking about. It's low key smart though. No, why? Connor, Connor, time out when you don't in that situation. And getting a smart. Tech? Why? He low didn't do smart. that on purpose. I, I don't know if he did or not, but Let it's low explain. key smart. Let him explain. Because at that point, it's like what one point two seconds left. Mm-hmm. No matter what he does, without calling that timeout, you're not about to get no shot off. So <laughs> calling the the the, the timeout that but stops the clock. Kawhi could, could essentially point. miss one of those free throws. And Kawhi could have dove on that ball, too. This nigga was trying to get the fast those, break and shit. Yeah. You can tell by the way he was trying to grab the ball. But he could have missed one of those free throws, and then they would have been down three. But mm. the greatest shooter in the world. I feel He got his chance. He had a great <laughs> shot, too. That he got his shot. chance. Yeah. His last shot was a good shot. They said he ain't hit a, a, a game winner yet. 0 for yet. 9. O for, I thought he was 0 for 8. Hey, oh, to, 0 for 9. But to, either to way, me, he ain't hit a game winner yet. My man to, to me, I feel like the Warriors ain't worried, though. No, I don't think so. They're going to be back. They're back not to where? I heard. Is that yeah, true that they offered? Back to where, uh, nigga? Is it true that they when offered? When KD signed his new deal somewhere else, it's over for them. Oh, they're going to be the, back. The, Bob Myers already said he don't think they, uh, KD is going to sign back with them. That's what he said. And that's the damn owner. So The first step is to not extend. Pause. Right? <laughs> Good pause. That's the first. Solid. <laughs> that's the first step, right? Because if he opts in, it's $31 million, But he can get more if he opts out. Because they can o- offer him the Supermax. Or you can go somewhere else. Yeah, he's not going. He's not going to opt in. So he's not opting in. Where are you going? I don't know. If I'm to if the I'm, doctor. If I'm a <laughs> oh God. y'all laugh. You laugh, nigga. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hate this nigga, Chris. But like, I think if a team like if I'm if I'm still the Knicks, I'm still signing him. I would of course. No, anybody's going to still sign him. They're signing yeah. that nigga in a wheelchair. Nigga, yeah. y'all have had me for the last. <laughs> Five years, you know what I'm saying? Like you got a chance to get KD. I'm, I'm signing him. Fuck it, mm-hmm. fuck it. If he, if we, do, if we get KD back, then shit, we're winner. If we don't, then I guess back to square one. Yeah, back to square one. All right. Like I tried to get to earlier. Don't let the doors, man, bro. Eighty to the Lakers. It's a big move. Y'all think they gonna get anybody else? Yeah, of course. I don't, of course. Of course. <laughs> you know, I hate Laker fans. Because they, they We're have not this, Laker fans, nigga. We're LeBron okay, fans. Okay, I, I hate Laker fans okay. because people have this imagination that, oh, yeah, all the top free agents coming. I say name them. No, I didn't think so. No, I'm Kyrie, saying, Kimba. No, I'm saying no. That now have, that the trade has gone through, it's somebody's coming. That have come there. Now that the trade is coming, you had Bron last year, and no and one. And the thing about it with K- yeah, KD true, and Clay, <laughs> you, had a, Bron, you had Bron. A and, plus, look, you had the possibility of a Kevin plus, Durant. Uh, free nope. agency. You had the you possi- knew Kevin will come. You had no, the possibility the of Paul George. Open. Nope. The door is open now. <laughs> the door is open now. Yeah, niggas is coming through. Pause. Okay. I'm not saying they're not gonna get nobody else, but like, don't oh, people need to like, like chill out, relax. Yeah, niggas need to relax on their like expectations. Nigga be Nigg- linked. Niggas was like, yo, we definitely getting Kawhi now. I was like, I don't know about getting Kawhi, but getting Kimba Kawhi. Walker coming. Whoop he fucking do. That's all we need is a Kimba Walker. At Who is we? Me, LeBron. <laughs> hey, Who is this we? Nigga. Nigga. Oh, you you don't play with we with Toronto too. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, oh yeah. nigga. These niggas. We have the text messages to prove it. We win tonight. Shit's over. <laughs> <laughs> 
The six, nigga. In the six, nigga. In the six, ah. nigga. Now you in LA? Me and Drake dropping tracks. Cross Me country. And Drake. <laughs> Cross country guys, ass, guys, nigga. Guys. <laughs> Guys. International Dean. Hey, hey, he was so ready to go to Game Five in right. Toronto. He was so <laughs> ready. <laughs> they better not win. I, I'll pop in the six. Why you getting the granddaddy? Hold on, hold on. Voice Presidential stuff. suite, nigga. <laughs> Presidential <laughs> Dean. Presidential <laughs> Dean. Say you didn't say this. I didn't say all of that. All right, okay, <laughs> you, nigga. I want to right. step into Prezi. Of course, bro. Okay, on something even more light than this last topic. <laughs> young young Miami's pregnant. Y'all summer is fucking over. It's over, nigga. The hot girl summers is over. Yo, I've seen so many girls in the comments on something. Yo, we had plans for this summer. You don't even know her. <laughs> you don't know her, nigga. And that just goes to show you these girls are not living what they talking about. A lot of niggas ain't living what they talking about either, but they a lot of girls astray. is basing y'all life they off. playing y'all. Uh, Do we know uh, who her baby daddy is? Uh yeah, um, what's his name? Southside. Yeah, Ooh. but like, it real ass didn't give a fuck about a nigga. Well, it looks like she gives a <laughs> lot of fucks about the nigga. Clearly, Man, y'all. <laughs> he was this shooting her club her. up. Bum, 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 <laughs> shooting the club up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can't live y'all lives all day, and y'all summer's she over fucking there done. While y'all over here shouting. Now all we niggas. all we need <laughs> is money back, yo, to shoot up, make make the stallion shit, and y'all should have done. Make the stallion go down. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Like that's y'all last hope. Niggas is not pulling out of make the No, negative. They're not. Get Maybe. your girl pregnant, nineteen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. She want no social security that put, night. I put a hashtag. I said, "Y'all niggas hot boys." Corey a hot boy. God, Ron think he a hot boy. He hot about boy to get Corey. fucked up. Yeah, Ron was a hot boy. <laughs> about to get banged. He was a hot boy at beach house. Look at him drinking the whole look shit. Look, look, look. You, it was like been, that at the beach house. Stressed out. He been thirsty. Yeah, Every time we can bring it up, these niggas start stressed out. Lydia, you about to get this nigga killed. <laughs> Ron tried to push up on my little Look at Lydia laughing. She don't even give a fuck about you, bro. Right. She like, she don't even have to hurt. Go ahead and kill him. <laughs> kill his ass. <laughs> that nigga dancing was weak anyway. <laughs> a wasted lappy. Couldn't even follow me. <laughs> Ron, you making my cousin waste the lappies out here? <laughs> now y'all didn't dance. We've been talking about it all morning. Yo, bro, you didn't dance. Y'all, that couch floating? You got the lappy. Listen to Chris. Coy, you a hot you boy? Got the lap- Ron, you said it. Ron, be a, what's a hot boy? I know, boy? but you ain't seen it. Hey, Ron, hey tell man. him what a hot boy is. <laughs> that nigga was golden that night. Oh. God damn it, Chris. What? I don't want to do this with you today. Mm-hmm. You had on your golden shirt when you went up? <laughs> you had on your golden shirt hey, when you went up? For him to have to be the nigga to tell my camera to the He looked tight as fuck. It's like, fuck. Like, this fuck. nigga. Let me turn it to him. He was golden that night. <laughs> nigga was living his life like it's golden? Please yeah, stop, Chris. <laughs> Let it go sometimes. <laughs> if the first one didn't land, go to the next right, joke. Bro. Yeah, the next when, when Kennedy is 16, oh my God, <laughs> wait. He's going to be getting off them corny jokes. And she's Yo, like, he's going to be like... He's gonna be letting them shits. But I'm gonna oh, be the type to do bro. corny jokes, but I'm gonna be dead ass serious. <laughs> Better not laugh, nigga. Uh, Bingo, uh, laugh. Uh, that shit funny, bro? <laughs> did, y'all want, did y'all want to talk about Cuba Gooding Jr.? I don't What happened? Put me on. He got charged for possibly touching. What's a hot boy? A hot boy, you know what a hot girl is, right? All these oh, city girls and all that. Hot, 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 the hot nigga version of that. Pussy be cold as a bitch. <laughs> I'm warm. You're a warm boy. You're a warm boy. <laughs> warm boy, Coy. Warm boy. Warm boy. It's like a nigga that fart and just leave and don't say shit. Warm boy, Coy. Chris, I can't. Just walk around shirtless, huh? Boy got a backpack with no shirt. <laughs> he about to go do some things. That's a hot boy. Yeah, right? that's, that's, hot, hot. Yes. that's hot. <laughs> that nigga like juvenile. <laughs> Juve. <laughs> Hey, that Man. is a hot boy. You got on the book bag, especially at that on? age. You got the book bag on. You gonna get on the bike? Right, the where you going with where no going, shirt? On? Where, you going? where you going? Where you going? Where you going? With right no now? shirt on. You ain't kidding. What's, the, what's the next topic? Yeah, what's in the bag? Uh, either Cuba Gooding Jr. Um, Cuba right. Pudding. Whoa, Cuba. Whoa. That nigga won a man of honor that night. Wow. <laughs> Y'all seen men of honor? Don't. Yeah, so shut up. <laughs> Hey man, when, when they threw his tools in the water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, that nigga, that was a story about a nigga from Portsmouth, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Go get your shit off, off Elliot. Shit off. Okay, yeah. get it off. Get, get that, that shit off. Get it off. Y'all be talking about my jokes. Yeah. Some of them shits be alleys. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna screw no, it. Yes, they, they do, nigga. You be hoping this shit land, nigga. <laughs> my my, my Reed and Rumbo shit was an alley, nigga. What's a Rumbo? Oh, let's talk about that. This bitch ass nigga that's saying nigga. while we sang Reed and Rumbo. He sung a note. He sung a note. I did. Me and Lydia watched it a hundred times. I threw the alley. He sung a note. He ain't saying Lydia. I threw the alley. I threw the alley. That was a corny joke. 
talking about. Hey, get about. your reading rainbow off. And my nick, yo. That nigga. That nigga Butterflies that nigga, in the sky. That's my shit. With his hands went up. No, but his nigga. Butterflies in the sky. That nigga was going in. The nigga had his head down. That shit came. He's like, Somebody messaged me and was like, bro was like, bro was like, bro was like, hey, man. If the pod don't jump off, y'all might could be a, a quintuplet or whatever. <laughs> I was like, that shit was funny. That nigga said, that take was... a look. It's in, in a, a book, book nigga. nigga. I was like, that shit is stuck in my head now. I wrote home. All weekend, nigga. I, I listened to it on Apple Music. Head, <laughs> All weekend. That shit's so All right, since we talking about music, man. My nigga Drake oh, dropped boy. the two-pack on him. Throwaway tracks. Omel- Omerta. Throwaway tracks. That nigga said throwaway Testing tracks. machinery. But mm. they were still heat. The fact that they throwaway tracks to me, and they still uh, hit. Oh, that oh, was the two pack. Oh, murder was track. cool. The second what do murder mean, bro? The second one. Shit. Oh, what was the second one? Money. Oh, 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 some cartel money shit. In the grave. Some, some cartel. I mean, it's a southern. It's. I mean, it's a southern Italian code of silence. Code of silence. Code of honor. Code of honor. That shit, shit low key weak. But the song. Yeah, that's on low key weak. Like yo, but yo, I think they throw. I think they throw away. That that second one, that raw shit is so. Hey, hey, shout out. Hey, I feel like he was gonna drop regardless, and because the way Omerda sound, you could have just titled that shit like, like Warriors diss. If they would have won, he could have still dropped Omerda. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they just changed. I think he just used the the, kind of like the final uh, publicity to drop the tracks. He was gonna drop them anyway. Yeah. I mean. Cool. Nigga told us he coming in October, bro. <laughs> I was bumping it when I rolled up. I mean, they could. I listened to both of them shits in the gym nonstop. <laughs> no, the first shit go hard in the gym. I mean, no, it's, it's it's both, hard. Of them, both of them are cool. Money in the grave. But if you think about Rick Ross's, Ross's verse is kind of like, man. When you think about Drake and Rick, Rick Ross's track record as far as the stay scheming and the Lord knows. Yeah, no question. Mm. That's a definitely. Yeah, those are album those tracks, and these are. Yeah, throw. These are go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. It's called a. It's called a Lucy. No way, tracks. Lucy. No way, tracks. Two dollar joint. Sing. Get that Lucy Sing. off, bro. That's, That's single. A. Don't try and help. That's a black and mild. Then he. That shit weak. Then he called it. Right. Then he just called it. That nigga had a hey, black. The championship <laughs> two pack is out. That shit Ooh, weak. Ooh, he. That shit weak. That nigga doing his press conference. And nigga, you see Steph Curry when he called Steph Curry, and yeah, Steph was like, "How'd you get the hat already?" Nigga? Right. Hey, <laughs> hey. I knew he was gonna win. <laughs> my, my man's got the got the Drake fours off for like four fifty on StockX. Ooh, Damn. Yeah. Who cut four the Drake fours for four fifty? No, no, he he got them off. He flipped them. I know what you mean. I said, oh, who bought yeah. them from him? I don't know, nigga. That. He, that nigga got them off. Somebody was in their feelings, but the rap was winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That had to be. That's an emotional buy. That is. Cause them shits emotional are emotional buy. <laughs> 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 oh, another drop is gonna be when this nigga do Sydney's voice on the, I mean, uh, Regina Hall's voice uh, from Sydney. <laughs> <He's like, laughs> that shit had me weak, yo. I I watched that last episode of Mad Times. That shit is funny, yeah, bro. Yeah, that was that was bothering me that y'all Make, was, y'all was mixing up Regina King and Regina Hall. I'm sorry. Sorry, I know Regina King is still fine. But both of them are fine. That. Regina King can get some dick. Yes. That Both long face. Yes. Regina King is a strong six. She's not a King six. is a strong six. Huh? What? Nigga, that bad. She's being, we her... talking about this physical? Nah, I ain't, nah, ain't talking about other attributes. Nah, yeah, nah, nah. I say, if, we that's case, so, if that's the case, uh, Oprah's a fucking 20. Bro, hold yeah. up, hold up. Oprah shit. is bad. Hold for up, hold up. What's the argument here? You Oprah don't got think she's a six. You think she's high? Higher? You think she's a six? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just off looks, though. If you just talk. Physic, physical look like she's how walking on the street. Oh, she's how old Regina King is? <clears throat> I don't care how old Damn. she is. You can go to. You can I watch. Nigga, nigga, you no, watch no, down no, the count. Shit. You, you watch go her. to her young shit. She's still the same way. She you watch down the earth and she was kind of like, Ooh, nah. Ooh, you wild. Regina, nah. Regina King like one of the wild. worst heartthrobs <laughs> ever. <laughs> the worst heart. Throbs. One of the worst heartthrobs ever. Out of, out of like movies and like TV shows. Speaking of heart, like Laura from Family from Family Matters, she was a weak heart. Under throb. yeah, it's no way I'm not going with the girl that's crazy about me if I'm Steve. Oh, I, nigga, I used to say that all the time. Yes. She was weak. Oh, the, the light skin. Now yeah, the girl bro. Myra. Oh Myra, when she passed away from yeah. cervical cancer. Yeah, what? she was way better oh, than Myra. Laura. Died? Yeah. Well, is that the last yeah. one? She died during the show. Yeah. Oh shit. She didn't just move away. Bro, I was upset as a little kid. Watching. I was like, damn, why she died? Right. I didn't know she died. Yeah, yeah. she died. I was. Oh, Cuzzo is on the way to, on that mission. Oh yeah, Juvie, Juvie. young Juvie. Oh, he's serving. <laughs> out? Is he serving out here? <laughs> no. Yo, no, let's not put out. that on his life. Serving. He went out the back. Yes, no, he I, did. 
He oh, did, yeah, he didn't walk he out. serving out. Oh. He didn't walk out the front. He walked oh. out back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hot boy. So guy. <laughs> hey, hot fridge, boy. Bro. Give a fuck about a nigga. <laughs> she 48. <laughs> I might be rolling with Elliot. She 48. What's that guy? Oh, he's who? I, I, I thought she was older. Who? I thought, I thought Regina King was older. And she's been that way since. You can go to back to them. She's, still, she's like, hey. still a beautiful woman, bro. She's a strong but six. 40 she's a beautiful black queen. Strong six is all right. Her right. eyes? What? No, yeah. What? She's killing, oh, bro. What? She killing. Oh, shit. That puts her over. She killing. Right, guys. She can see, bro. <laughs> <laughs> her vision 2022? <laughs> what? <laughs> shit weak. <laughs> Sorry, Regina. They not rolling. Regina, I'm, I'm rolling shit. I'm, I'm rolling too, Regina. Pull up, is it? Chris Pull up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up. <laughs> he a horn dog. Put it on me. I ain't no horn dog. Put it on me. Hey. You call me, you call me a hoe, bro. Put it on me. That's you calling me a hoe. Put it on me. Like all women. I do. I do not like all women. Not all. Not, not, right, not all. No. <laughs> not all. all. <laughs> all right, guys. It's, it's Father's Day. Is it now? Shit, I gotta use that. There he goes. He just asked this nigga. We already went to the ago. main. <laughs> I thought we had more to talk about. We had thirty minutes. Damn, we on schedule, schedule. We ain't been on schedule, schedule. Just because nah, that nigga have, usually starts. I don't have to pee. I have to twice. Go. Shut bro. up, y'all. Y'all talk about fathers. You the, the only, only father dad nigga. on the couch. Fathers, nigga. You are Rep them. Trash, bro. Weak ass bladder. Yo, Willie, really, how you feel about fathers there? I don't know. Yeah, yeah you, you sit on the couch. What's up, man? You ain't talking or not. Give him a mic. Well, yeah, I'm not a father, so I can't really. You have a father. How do you feel about Father's Day? You have a father, currently. Speak. <laughs> Talking to the mic. Pause. Um, How do you feel about your dad? I think he's an amazing father all the mm. time. I, and even though, you know, I get yelled at a lot. No, you don't. Especially doing that math stuff, and you know. Yeah, you was fucking up in school. Well, like, see. You didn't know fractions. That's oh. a problem. <laughs> well, I'm just, I just like that. <laughs> I like how he's how he's one of those fathers that always puts me in a good battery all the time. Always, yeah. And I like how he doesn't always, you know, take it easy on me because if he were to do that, I wouldn't be able to unlock my true potential. We just went to that honor roll celebration ceremony. Yeah. Honor yeah. roll, my guy. My G. He was embarrassed when we he, he went across the stage. It was like, well, hey, boom, 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 boom. He kept yelling Please don't tell me you did the. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> You yeah. sound effect them? Yeah, we had to, bro. You bigged him up. We had to. You see him? Y'all see him like John when he walked across? He's like, <laughs> what, what else, man? What else? Are you rock? Are you rocking the Nipsey braids next year to school? No. Uh, you gotta rock the Nipsey. Bro, braids. what grade you going to next year? Eighth. Eighth, bro. It's time to power Eighth, up. bro. I'm telling yeah. you. Look, bro. Look, look. Right. Super pause, bro. What's up, bro? You gotta you gotta flex up next year, so that way when you come into ninth grade, the bitches be like, oh, who is this little nip? who is yes. little nip? You go, tra- little what? Go f- go from yeah. little Russ to little, little nip, nip. young you nip. Go from no. to nip. No. <laughs> no, 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 I can't a, transition like that. That's a big jump. Like, that's, that's a, a big, big jump. jump. <laughs> you need, need some more that's years on the bro. <laughs> you can't do that, sir. Mm. Bro, stick with Rusty, man. You might be. <laughs> Ain't no wrong with being Rusty. Can I stick with Willie? No, no, you can't be Willie. Can I stick with Why? Willie? Pause on that. Yeah. You can't <laughs> stick with Pause Willie. Pause on that. <laughs> yeah, no. You free Willie out here? Get up. Shut oh, up. Man. Talking past it? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go into it. All right, man. My man Briss is back on the couch. Chris, I wanted to see, like, I wanted you to get off that shit about talking about what it's like being a father to a daughter. <laughs> I got a nice, touching text message from my little brother this morning that I'm just going to read after you. You know what I mean? Um, shit is stressful. <laughs> That's the best thing I can say about it, having a girl. Yeah. Um, but I want to talk about just the importance of fatherhood in general. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, just, King. <laughs> just shit off, King. <laughs> All right, get it off, bro. Get it off, bro. Patriarchal households are very important, man. Ooh, okay. okay. Why? Because logic is is the president. Mm. All right. Mm. And I'm just feeding into y'all because y'all y'all think Go I'm on some poetic nigga, shit. Nigga. No, but for real. Um. When I think about it, the father's important just because a, a woman can't raise a man, period. So when you Agreed, think about 100%. it, and I'm just speaking on black people. Y'all already know we talk predominantly about black people. So with a lot of our males out here being raised by women, like and, and women do their best and all that, but that's a, re, that's a big reason why a lot of men out here just 
predominantly emotional creatures and they they react off their emotions too much so i feel like with the father you get more of a, a a sense of how to control your emotions and to think logically so i think that's the main importance of fatherhood and with women you just uh, i mean you give your girl the uh the example of what she should look for in a man period because when she doesn't have a father she, all she does is just she's going off the cuff like just improv in it and then that leads her down sometimes the wrong path so that's what I would say I, I would feel like the importance of fatherhood is. How do you feel like becoming a father? Like when you f- first saw Kennedy? <clears throat> Shoot, when I first saw the uh, the positive uh, pregnancy test, <laughs> I wasn't, um, me and my ex, we were, uh, I wouldn't say Kennedy was an accident. Like we were like deliberately trying to have a child. And we, we had talks about it, but when I saw yeah, that... he was throwing that thing up. Huh? <laughs> when I saw he don't sound he was deliberate, like, deliberate. Like, crazy. are you ovulating? But he was like, hey, I ain't pulling up. <laughs> when we uh, when we took the pregnancy test, like, bro, like, I was silent for like two minutes straight just thinking about all the responsibility, bro. Even yeah. even with planning, like, it's just like, damn, this shit's coming now. So it's like, it's real. And it's 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 an everyday thing, bro. It, it, it ain't really... Like, when people say, like, your life is over, it's a little extreme, but for the most part, <laughs> for the most part, oh, shit. And every most of the decisions you make, yeah. you have them in mind. When you don't have a child, you just, I don't even remember what it was like when not, not having not a really. child. I don't even remember what it was like. So yeah. it's like everything, every decision you make, even this pod coming here, I got a plan for that. I got a plan when I leave. You know what I mean? And just all the decisions you make, even when she's not with me, I mean, when she's not with me, I, don't, I think about how my decisions will affect her. Like, because I wanted a motorcycle. Yeah. But I've seen enough people like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of like, nah, I don't want one. So I made that decision because her cut off that. That's an example of the decisions I make sometimes for her. Yeah, I ain't got to do that shit. Fuck that. How did, okay, but how did, because <laughs> that's just one side of it. How did y'all, how did y'all's uh, fathers affect y'all? Like, I wanted to what did y'all take from y'all dad? Importance of, so like, my dad was, shit, to be real, I mean, he, he didn't have his dad around like that. Mm. Like, he knew who his dad was, but his dad didn't really raise him. And then, I guess, from what I understand, the person that I know to be my god, uh, grandfather, they they didn't have a really good relationship. My dad's my, uh, rest in peace to my grandma, but he was the oldest, and she was, like, 14 or 15 when she had him. Mm-hmm. Growing up in Philly, in the streets, my dad played sports and shit, so I feel like he learned a lot of his stuff from his self mm-hmm. and from, like, the structure of being a football player. Like, he was the man. dad from Philly? Yeah. Fuck with him, they hard. Yeah, long my dad is the reason why my brothers is Eagles now, fans and all that. Yeah, yeah. But um, I wanted to say that <clears throat> a lot. I learned a lot from my dad from watching what he did well and what he didn't do well. Mm-hmm. So like, I think the importance of being a father is like Likewise. you a su- you a superhero, especially if you got sons. Likewise. You know, I have two other brothers. Mm-hmm. So when you're the you when you're a son and you're looking up to your dad, that nigga a superhero Facts. until he makes yeah. a mistake. Facts. Yeah, no question. Like, it was hard for me. I don't know, like, y'all parents, like, and I'll let y'all just, you know, my mom and dad, they split. So even, like, I was saying, my brother sent me a message this morning. He was like, you know, happy Father's Day to me. And I'm like, damn, I ain't no father. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But he was like, oh, okay. you mentor mad kids, dudes that don't have dads. It was kids that we coach here to this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Football season been over, and they not playing for us next year. Mm-hmm. Still, it hit my phone or whatever. And then my dad, my brother was like, you know, when my dad and my mom split, he was like, he was like the only nigga I was like, no, like you showed me how to really move and you made decisions. Like I had to make decisions based on like they're looking at me. Right. And I did things that like if it was just me and I was the only child, who knows where I'd be at because I was chasing <laughs> right. a different, like, That's you know real. what I'm saying? But then I knew my little brothers and their friends was watching me. Mm. So it's like, yo, you got to really make your decisions based on <clears throat> niggas look up to you. The kids I coach, it's like, some of them think I'm a millionaire. I'm like, nah, bro, you can have this too. Mm. This dream is super achievable. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you're going to be Shamarco or Percy Harvin or none of them kids that played for Virginia Beach. I don't know if you're going to be EJ be Manuel or none of that. But you can live like I live. That shit ain't hard. It's just about working hard. It's about doing the things you're supposed to do and, and really putting your best foot forward. So like like he was saying, when his when his, I went up there one day, I'm helping him with his fractions. I'm like, Willie, you don't, I'm drawing pictures. Like, you don't get that this is a half and this is three-fourths. I care about that more. That's why we talk about them girls. I could care less about them girls. Let's get an A, bro. Mm-hmm. Now my man on the honor roll. Bro, them girls Next year is about president's be around, bro. Yeah, they're always going to be around. Mm-hmm. When you get in the bag, they super around. They're super mm-hmm. around. Yeah. When you down, 
<laughs> a lot of them gonna bounce. They're gonna bounce. So make sure you make sure you. When you're never 19 down. year old and you still don't know what a fraction is. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I'm really proud of you. I've been proud of him in moments like I was his dad. You know, me and his dad are super close. This is my godson. When we was out there playing football, winning the chip, and he's making plays, and I see him giving maximum effort, even if you don't make the tackle, I'm about to cry. Hmm? I was like, yo, I told you at halftime at, during the championship, we was winning, but it was like by a slim, slim margin, national championship, right? I'm like, yo, I'm super proud of you. Win, lose, or draw. That's like where, like, my dad taught me that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, give your best effort. Be the first one. Don't be scared of failure. You know what I'm saying? Taught me how to think for myself, all that shit. Think yeah. for yourself. And that shit is important because a lot of these kids, like Chris says, I don't believe that everybody's being raised by the television, but if your dad's not around, you definitely are. Yeah, mm-hmm. no question. Because your mom's working to pay for both of y'all, she's so she's already been paid so, less. Yeah, yeah, she's busting her ass. It's no way. That you know you're getting raised by your your peers, the streets, and the TV, yep. and that shit is not healthy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though my dad was learning on the fly too, that nigga knew like it's certain things I wanted to instill in him. Mm. And my work ethic come from both of them, but like they both was like, yo, my dad coached. You know, he coached me basketball, football, whatever I was into. He started trying to get into. Mm. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? He might have been late to pick me up from some <laughs> of my basketball game, you know, practices and shit when I was um in high school or whatever, but. He still was picking me up. He's trying right. his best. You know what I'm saying? Best, yeah. So, like, when you're a child, you know, you look at him as a superhero, and, like, my parents split. So, at one point, I was like, man, this nigga's fucked up. Mm-hmm. But then once you get older, you realize, like, what relationships are really about. You don't know what his, right. you know what I'm saying? That's so, I, I say that parents to say, like, perfect. yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, with losing my mom recently, I just, yo, cherish all these moments, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You That's know what I'm saying? To <clears throat> fix that relationship, bro. Yep, for real. Whenever I, hear I was the one that started, you know, out of my three brothers, shit. I was the first one to really start going around. My, I mean, the other two, they weren't here, but I was like, you know, I made a conscious effort that me and my dad should be closer because one right. day he's not going to be here. And it's not like between whatever happened between him and my mom was between him and my mom. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Actually, it's not like. All, my, my bad, I'm bad, right, right, but we all been through our relationship shit. Facts. That's the but same thing. But you don't know that till you're an adult. Yeah, it's the same when thing. When they split, and I'm old enough to realize, like, yo, he's splitting. Mm hmm. And I don't get why. At 16, you like, this nigga's fucked Man, what up. what the fuck you doing? Yeah, what's right. up with you, bro? You don't want to be here. Right, you dipping? Where are you going? Right. Yeah, Especially because you look up to him like he's a superhero yeah. before that. We all been through them situations where mom Y'all was crying mom? and stuff. and we Loving basketball? Yeah. My man took a real dip when he realized his dad wasn't the man he was trying to get right. him to be. Trying to get him that's to just be important. He was less than But I feel like that just comes <laughs> with being honest with your kids. Mm-hmm. To be to be for real, like I want my daughter to be able to come with me, come to me and talk to me about everything. I don't want to, I want her to, I want to set the example for her, but I don't want her to think I'm some perfect dude. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I want her to see some of my mistakes too, because right. I'm, I'm gonna make them and I make them. I don't em. think your dad gets you, makes you feel like he's perfect, but you just you hang on to the every word, mm-hmm. no you question. watch their actions, you watch their mannerisms, you watch all that shit. So it's like you damn near want to beat them for yeah. a, a period I, of time. That's how it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? That's how it's supposed That's to be. It just gives you a, it gives you a reference though, like a yeah. stable one, because your dad, if he's around, he cares about you. So at least that reference point is a good one. You know what I mean? Half of these reference points we get when we don't have our parents around, they don't give a fuck about you. Right. They just gonna use you. Shoot, my my daughter, we talk about how our parents affect us. Shoot, my my daughter made me a much better person. Yeah. Like period. Like and I told you, I prioritize way better yeah. now. Like yeah. half the shit I don't put up with, half the shit I put up with before because yeah. of Kennedy. Oh. So, Maybe one day I'll have that. Yeah, me. Y'all will. <laughs> me too. I, I try to I try to like make the right decisions when I'm mentoring the kids, but I also I'm quick to tell them like I ain't your daddy. <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like big brother. So I kind of come at it that way. And I know how to be a big brother because I'm obviously you are, yeah, right. I am one. So right. <laughs> being one for are. them is easy. Like, or I'm not your dad. And you know, it's a lot of kids where I gotta go pick them up because their mom can't get them to the practice. And you know, sometimes I was picking up two, three, four kids before practice. But you know what's crazy? And I want to speak to this because y'all don't have kids. Being a good father starts way before they even come out. Like, the fact that y'all are, it seems like y'all are picking the right women and taking your time with the women that y'all are around. Trying to. That's extremely important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's the person you're going to be choosing to bring a, create a life with, bro. You saying you didn't do that, Chris? No, I did do that. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm speaking to y'all because y'all don't have kids. Right. Because, you know what I mean? A lot of people have a whole- lucky, I think. Have a whole- (laughs) Have a whole bunch of kids, and they kids yeah, going through hell because so the mean? woman they chose to have kids with. You know what I mean? Hmm? No, I'm saying like a lot of kids are going through hell because of the me- the woman that their their dad chose to have kids with. You know what I mean? It's just dysfunctional. Yeah. So 
I feel like that starts way before. I just hear so many anything. stories. And I like the fact, shout out to all the dudes that I know that are fathers. Because all y'all, t- every, I wouldn't even fuck with a nigga if I knew he had kids and he not taking care of his yeah, kids. No, 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 There's no, no way we could be cool, we bro. Can't be cool. Yeah. All the dudes I know that have kids, shout out to y'all. Happy Father's Day. They all take care of their kids. You heard how Lil Willie talks about his dad. Bruh, I know anytime, bro, me and him work together. At one point, he was like, hey, man. He was the person I was reporting to. He was like, Hey, you my brother. And even after this shit, I was going through some stuff. I was depressed. He's like, I will fire you, nigga. <laughs> He's like, I got to, this is how I feed Lil Willie. Mm-hmm. This is how I feed Nori, bro. Mm-hmm. It's my guy. Well, a man that <laughs> doesn't brother. take care of his kids. He's not a purpose, man. Bro. He doesn't know his purpose. Not a man, bro. Period. That's just seed, bro. bro. I know, dude, I ain't going to put nobody out there, but he had, he had twins or whatever with a, uh, a girl I know. And he seen him, he seen him once. Out of their whole it's life. trifling as fuck. They've been here. I think they've been here like a year and some change now. Yeah. And he's seen them once. I can't even understand he how he's. He don't send shit. He don't do shit for him. Yeah. Like, what do y'all think causes that? I no, can't, what do y'all, I can't do even y'all imagine. Can't fathom it? No. no like, I what did y'all know? think about? Um, I couldn't grasp that. Was it Offset? When he went to see his dad. I you think I saw it, but I like. I seen clips and I seen him talk about his dad right. after. So he didn't know his dad growing up, but he was just like, bro, like, like I just said, it's. Life is short, man. Yeah, like definitely, bro. Life you could, definitely short. make that re- if you can make just that relationship right, make it right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that nigga was definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but for real, that's real. You're supposed to honor your mom and your dad regardless. I mean, right. shoot, they the reason you're here. Yeah. And and I always tell people, I'm like, regardless of their bad decisions, one of their decisions was to have you. Yeah. So sometimes it's not a decision. Say sometimes it's not. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, it is a decision. I bro. I don't give you a decided fuck. not yeah. to wear a condom. Yeah, that's a decision. What if he made? Where, I mean, I don't believe in that. First of all, if you wore a condom and you had a baby, you're a liar. What? I mean, it's just ninety nine percent effective, man. Condoms break, bro. But you knew it broke. Yeah. You know that. You know when it breaks. You knew it broke. You know that shit broke, bro. You know it and was you a kept loose going. condom in there. That's a decision. That was yeah. the, <laughs> shoot. The first time I had unprotected sex was from a uh, broken condom, and I definitely Facts. knew that condom was broke. That's not Facts. what happened to me. I was like, whoa, there. <laughs> I ran out of condoms. It was going. I was like, she let me go in there. I was like, <laughs> she let me go in there. <laughs> No. She let me go. She let me, she let me go. Back, huh? she, let me, she let me go in there. That nigga fell into the sunken place. Sunk. <laughs> nigga ain't never, ship I'm never coming back. Hell never no. The same again. Never. Never. Raw dog McGraw over here. <laughs> Scruff. McGruff. Yo. Chicago. Illinois, that was one of the best. Six oh six five two. Why? Why don't we? Why would we never forget that number? Because <laughs> that commercial was fire, nigga. So I'm pretty sure I know what y'all answers are, but what y'all want to have first, boy or girl? It's not about what I want to have. I think I think I'm going to have a boy. Okay. I think I'm gonna have a boy too, but I don't even care at this point. I'm old as fuck. I don't believe in that little narrative too about dogs having girls. First. I don't either. I think I seen niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I knew niggas. <laughs> niggas had two sons. I was like, what? How the hell you have two sons? A lot of the dogs I know got girls. I'm just saying. <laughs> Shit. I'm saying. I wanted a boy first so bad, but you no, know, you just want to help the kid. From what I've been yeah. told, my dad was out here. He got three sons. Tell and his that. son has a son. Well, there you go. <laughs> and I'm going to have sons. Like, we oh, might not yeah. even break the... <laughs> Shit. Why are you going to break the fucking... I'm going to be the first one. <laughs> Five girls. So, outside of uh, <laughs> outside of setting that example for your daughter, what do y'all think the the, the main purpose of a father is on, her da- on, his, on his daughter? I think just guidance. Just guidance? Yeah. Like for I tried it with Lydia. It don't work. What? Dead. <laughs> what? Yeah, but I think I tried it with Lydia. It don't work. No, hey, y'all don't look. Man, when I was, I was in, okay. Me and Lydia, we're not. I'm not a decade. I'm not ten years older than her, right. but I'm older than her. So I used to, I used to pick her up from school, take mm-hmm. her shopping. I was like trying to make, like, make sure a nigga treats you like this. Mm-hmm. Are you low key a decade older? It than ain't work. She be fucking no, with some weirdos. What? You fuck with weirdos, some clowns. Oh. And then even then, you your step name's a good example. No, but your step is a good. Like a no. Dude? Her stepdad's a good example that too, though. Cool. That would be cool. That sounds weird, weird to ask. Weird, yeah, that's a weird yeah. question to that's ask. You don't want a guy like Kadeem? It's weird. I don't want a girl like Lydia. That's that like, sounds yeah, weird. That's what the hell? That sounds crazy. That's not crazy. She can want a guy like you. Huh? She can want a guy like she can. Okay, hold on. She hold on. Like let me physically. Stop. I got a way better question. Okay. Y'all daughters is out right now. They're sixteen. Is, are y'all the man that y'all want y'all do- see y'all daughters with? Yes, right now for yeah. sure. Yeah. Not at 32, he better be 17. <laughs> but like, at like back in the day, nah, 
Don't fuck with me, no. Oh, uh, well, when you were 16-year-old Kadeem? No, 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 I'm just saying. I'm going to say, don't fuck with the 16-year-old Kadeem. Like, like, early, like, early 20s? Ellie, no. No. Don't, don't, don't go for him. No. <laughs> don't fuck with Kadeem until he was you know 29. What? I feel like that's shit. a good thing. <laughs> that little, that little myth shit. that dogs have girls, because we, we can see through all the nonsense. Yeah. Like dudes that have, they have, they have pat, like, history. Yeah. We can see through all that nonsense. Yeah, he just playing. He just want the cheeks. You know, trying to put my game here on roll. You got to, honestly, you got to level out, man. Your girl, your, your daughter's going to have sex. So. It's just about when and who they have sex with. <laughs> I hear Chris, but I don't believe him. Honestly, Chris I teeter. No, no, I teeter. I'm going to keep, keep it real with y'all. Half the time, I'm like, yo, fuck all that. But half the time, I'm like, yo, if I'm on that fuck all that shit, she going to go do what she want to do, period. Right. I want her to be able to come to me and just talk Tell to me about yeah. anything. There's only one daughter in the room, and I know her mama, so. And I, yeah. You want to speak to your... your Okay. Do you want me to tell your business? I want to tell your business. Father? Any father stories? Any father? Um, yeah. I mean, my dad is my stepdad, but it, it's never mattered. Yeah. He's no, been okay. exactly what I needed him He's to be been at dad, the exact dad. moment yeah. I needed him to be at. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, and that's yeah. important too, man. I feel Could like the, like dads, to me, are supposed to provide like the bumpers, like when you're bowling. Yeah, Ooh, that was that metaphor. Kid, get your shit get off. Your shit I off. like that metaphor. <laughs> Look at this nigga. They provide Coy. bumper, so you, you, they just, you know. <laughs> that's a that's a good one though because they provide they provide structure and they they catch you when you, when you fall too. Yeah, I like that metaphor. They that's a great one. Inside the lines, it's some shit you do in the middle of there. You want to move freely how you want to, but you be bumping the shit out of them bumpers, cross. don't you? Right. Liddy be bumping the fuck out of them bumpers. Like <laughs> she in another lane, like a zigzag. <laughs> You know, sometimes the ball go over the bumper. <laughs> That's Liddy ass. Her, her bumper didn't work. Hey, fucking lane eight. Lane Fuck eight your bumpers, poppin'. nigga. Lane eight popping, nigga. <laughs> well, no, nah, that's real. That's real. Yeah. Oh, shit, I forgot. I forgot what I was gonna ask y'all. Could y'all see us being stepdads? I was. I mean, only for a brief second. <laughs> a quick minute. A moment in time. A very moment in time. <laughs> Shout out. To the stepdads, man. Yeah, y'all, I, are, no, y'all are hey, different. Hey, bro. I, 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 so my brother is a stepdad, <laughs> oh, and his. I, I gave a speech at his wedding. And I shouted that shit out because at that time, like everybody in my family, you know, I wasn't talking to no girl with no kids. Mm, right. I don't got no kids. Yeah, nah, that's yeah, a good that job, man. Rule, yeah, man. I'm good. Yeah, and that's a preference. That's your but rule. that one preference is a rule. And I don't want okay. nobody <laughs> to feel no kind of way because it's only one person I've ever talked to with kids, so they gonna know. So they were special. I thought so. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. And I thought their kids were special. Of course. Yeah. So then it was easy to like want to be stepdad. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's something you can force. I don't think you can go in there and like you the kids like if I if I went fuck. in not knowing she had kids and then she sprung it on me and I didn't like her kids and that might have changed everything. But I knew she had kids, and then when I met him, I was like, oh shit, y'all are amazing. The little the, the youngest one hit me with the eyes. Will you push me on the swing? Boom! Hit me with the brown eyes. And you're done. I was over. It was over for me. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And I'm a sucker I, for kids anyway. I don't think like, I've I've ever played stepdad. Would you get with a girl? Okay, so you got a kid, Chris. I think uh but I think my top. I think Yeah, how was it dating with the kid? I um Kennedy don't Kennedy ain't never met any girl that I entertain, so Okay. I that's just how I play it. I feel like I can have a successful like situation with a girl without the meeting my daughter. I mean, some girls ask and all, you know what I mean? I'm like, she's good, but outside <laughs> of that. No, nah, you don't need to see see her or get to know her. Either? I had a girl one time try to set up a play date. I was like, "Nah, I'm cool." Did she <laughs> had a kid because oh, I just I, I just feel like imagery is important. Like you are gonna see me standing beside another woman, and you know what I mean. Like it's just yeah. right. I'm I'm cool. I just feel like it's not necessary because you know you dope. have some people who feel like it's necessary. Like yo, you gotta meet my kids. My kids come with me. Mm. Once you meet my once you meet Kennedy, yeah. you know it's real. You you'll meet her, but. It'll have to be some shit where I'm like, yo, shit, this is the girl I'm, I can see myself spending the rest of my life with. So, nah. That's real. A lot of niggas don't follow that. <laughs> no. A lot of women don't follow that. That shit crazy to me. That was the first time I met anybody's kids. That's, but I mean, that speaks a lot to you too. It happened because so quick too. I would think that I ain't shit. never met nobody's kids. <laughs> I think it's different uh, when it's like, being your kids. when it's what? a girl with a daughter and you dating men that aren't her father. That shit crazy. And just me not being with my daughter's mother, I think about that all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> my freedom will be on the line. Their life will be on the line. If I found out some crazy shit, I don't care if my, I found out my brother or whoever did some crazy shit with my daughter. It's, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, for sure. So that's something I think about, too. But it is what it is. You just got to roll with the punches. But 
I think my I think like dating dating women with kids. I can do one, two. She would have to be like amazing. That's, two, that's a lot, yeah, bro. Two. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah, you two. I only got two left in me. Like if I have two more, it's over. Like completely, I'm getting snip snipped. That shit don't work all the time. Don't, don't skip, don't snip me. <laughs> I'm getting yeah. snip snip, bro. I'm good, nigga. If I. I can't add more than three. If it's in, if it's in God's will for me to have one, I guess I'm just having one. You just gonna keep going, bro? I, I'm not. Bro, you 54 and, and, tiff, and tiff pregnant. Me. You 54 and tiff like, hey, 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 Elliot, I'm pregnant. You 54. Oh well, you have an old ass daddy. She, <laughs> nigga, you dying and they, um, um, dad, I graduated. You can't That's even see. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nope. Good and you job. like playing sports too? I wouldn't wish that on you. Your son like, Dad, let's go. Nah, play with your brother. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you see me with this no. fucking cane, you know I can't fucking go. <laughs> you be mad as shit. Nah, get your brother. Nigga, nigga try and play for real. He throw the cane now. Let's get it in. Come on, little All bitch. Right, you, end up, you end up dead. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to show you nigga, something. Be on his back. Ah. Oh, son, Come on, my hand. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> be on the way. Up the room. <laughs> oh, man. So I kind of touched on it earlier. Um talking about the kids that I coach and stuff, how do y'all feel about, like, mentorship or, like, like brotherhood? Y'all got brothers? I know you got brothers. I have an older brother. Older brother. Oh, so you're the younger brother. You're the older yeah. brother. Mm-hmm. I'm the older brother. Cool. you the older brother or the younger brother? Uh, Kyle. Are you asleep? Yes. <laughs> Yo, my mom used to make me take my brother <laughs> everywhere, bro. Coy, I'm pretty sure that's how I was like input, you Coy. Coy, you got any brothers? He does have a brother. You got any sisters? Got you got any siblings? Yeah. You, the, you the oldest? Uh-huh. Oh, you the oldest? How's, how's it, oh, how that's scary. being the oldest, bro? <laughs> I'm the oldest, too. It's chill. I've been the oldest my whole life. It's chill? <laughs> Corey was a snitch. You said you don't feel no right type of responsibility? Nigga, are you okay? Nah, he's not. Get up! Yeah, wait, it's Oh, cool ass yeah. nigga. <laughs> he told us he was tired. And he just ate, too? Yeah. He ate, like, and he, he hit that, uh... <laughs> like I got, he got, he's like, I got important shoots later. I need my energy. Mm. <laughs> shoot Chris, how you feel being older, brother? Uh, it's great, man. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> young Cam look up to you, nigga. My brother, I feel like my brother, uh, cause my dad, my dad was a Marine for 24 years. So sometimes he ain't the yeah. easiest person to talk to. So <laughs> yeah. What I feel like telling? my brother comes, <laughs> my brother comes, <laughs> David and he crazy. comes to me and talks to me about certain things. He probably can't go to him about. Yeah. And my mom used to make me take camera everywhere. Mm. And I probably, uh, I probably Shout wasn't out to young Pac. I probably wasn't the easiest little brother because I used to make my little brother fight people and shit. <laughs> I made my brother fight somebody once. This dude came to our crib mm-hmm. and he was outside and he was like pulled up on CJ. It was gonna be the one v one. One v one. I was like, well, if he dies, he dies. He got to fight. Right. Else jump in. <laughs> CJ he got dies, washed. He dies. My little brother got washed. I was like, Yo, I, I'm happy. I'm not alone. All I can remember is he was like, he's got a ring. I said, like, back. <laughs> Yo, He's my little brother got on. his ass whooped by this little Hispanic kid. This little Hispanic kid was whooping camera ass. Yeah. Camera kept coming to me. I'm like, nigga, no, you, we not get going back home. in there. We God not damn. going home until you get him. The crazy thing is, they had fought like the day before in the other boy's front yard, and it was like a wrestling match. Mm-hmm. And then they, he, like him, he walked down the street, whole neighborhood with him. They was like, just don't, just don't hop in. Cause they was like, if, if don't nobody else hop in, I ain't hopping in one versus one. Nah. See, y'all got different oh, versions. Y'all the older brother. I'm the younger brother. Yeah. Your brother so said that to you? You got set up for the one Nah, I watched, watch, homie. You won? Okay. No, but you're, not, you're not beating me up in front of my brother. No. <laughs> hey, but I'm saying you I'm got set up, up for the one family. Family. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm, yeah. And I, I didn't want to. I was just wanting to play basketball. Like, dude threw the <laughs> no, ball. No, hit that nigga back. The dude threw the ball at me, hit me in my face. <laughs> you got to fight that. He was, like, he was like, yo, fuck him up. I was like, nah, I'm just trying to hoop. Fuck him up right now. took the ball. No. Fuck him up. And dude was like, he don't want, like, he swelled up. He was bigger than me. I beat the fuck out of him. Yo, beat the I, shit I watched out my of little him. brother get washed. I seen my little brother break a nigga jaw, too, though. Oh, that's thing. crazy. Shit. I ain't yeah. broke nobody's jaw, man. He was, we was having Broken a house party, and this dude, he was like, hey, yeah, you gotta leave. Some violent people. He said, you right gotta there. leave, you gotta leave. And the little boy was saying he won't go leave. I was like, hey, handle that. <laughs> Yo, I seen. <laughs> Straight across the joint. He's fucking so I shit. seen Good one of my niggas get their ass whooped in, in front of my house. <laughs> You seen your nigga get your nigga dance? Mm-hmm. No, nah, we was playing Twenty One in my in my driveway, <laughs> and I used to live on a corner, so everybody used to come through my crib. Whole gang of older niggas pulled up, and he was like, "Yo, this don't got nothing to do with y'all." I want to talk to him because he was talking to this girl or some shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, last thing we know, this nigga is a. Uh, 
he's getting his like his face is on the lawn and he's just oh no you ain't, like, you ain't he's pounding like, my he's like out, talking pause. to him like bro I won't talk and he's still talking while he's hitting him and <laughs> this just a 1v1 so we just chilling nah. he get up he like yo I'm about to call Dion I'm like why you gotta call Dion bro he was like why didn't y'all help me nigga it's one on one that was it I was like nigga go get him and he no lived close to my boy crib so he went my boy went to his house and was talking shit to um, the nigga who uh, beat him up the first time. This nigga whooped his ass in front of his whole family. I'm talking about his mom, his dad, his brother outside. So he beat him again? He beat him again. Oh, no. you Yeah. You just can't beat him, fam. Like, in front of his, in his yard, you gotta, bro. You got to shoot him. In his yard. <laughs> <laughs> in his yard. Down we not, no. <laughs> no, you ain't got to shoot him. No, you ain't you don't got to shoot him. You got to jump him, though. Fuck that. Go get your martial arts lessons, nah, bro. I you got to jump that nigga. Before, this little nigga had stole like his Game Boy, Nintendo DS or whatever. And he was like, he took my, went outside. We were, I was like, hey, where my brother him. jump at? Yeah, fucked him up. He said, stop, stop. Hey, can they, it's down there. I'm like, yeah, It's bitch. in the bushes. Don't take my little nigga <laughs> shit, bro. I'll fuck you up. Oh, right yeah, I'll, I'll fuck somebody else with my little brother. Yeah, I'll fuck See, you up saying. out here. Ain't no, ain't no I, he 1v1. took a couple one. L's on some, no, nah, it's a 1v1. It's no, 1v1. Like, when you the big brother? When, when, I see, like, when I see you losing, no, it ain't. It's, it's 1v1. Nah, you fuck it ain't. No, it ain't. Fuck that. Uh, I'm kind of not mad at him. I'm not. You gotta take that I out. never seen my little brother get his like his. I've never seen. Nah, no, if you on the verge, you trying to kill my like, little brother. No. He was like, he had a, bro, he had like a little ring on. Like he was saying, like, my little brother. I'm saying, but if he pounding your, yeah. nah, no, bro. Nah, I ain't. I ain't watching. Nah, you at least like, getting. You at least getting pushed off. Bro. I'm not even let my. I'm not even let my nigga. Like we, if we ever out somewhere and like. Somebody's like somebody talking, it's a woman, and somebody's getting the best somebody of Kadeem or Chris. The fuck out. No, bro. The best of Chris. No. <laughs> nigga, I ain't no. never got my ass whooped in a 1v1. Neither, I'm just saying. <laughs> never. I'm just saying, like, it ain't happening. Like, even if I see you, like, slip or something, like, nope. Nigga, 1v1's nigga. over. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a bean with y'all. I got jumped before, so. Oh, I ain't never been yeah. jumped. I, mean, yeah, I never been the jumped. One t- matter of fact, I the reason it. why me and Will so tight, the one time I almost did get jumped, I was watching this Will nigga. held you down? Bro. All the way. Shout out to Will, man. Where you at, Will? Where is Will? Where you at, Will? Where Will? Come back. <laughs> come back. You and P come back. We, where Damn, are y'all? Yeah, they ain't been back as a unit. Right. Damn. What's going on here? Yeah, it's all good, man. They don't fuck with us. I'm about to call Will. All right, the other thing I had on I'm here. I'll call this nigga on cam right yeah, now. Yeah, call him. Call him on the. Call him on cam, bro. <laughs> Boy, boys versus men. What makes a nigga out here that's. He's grown, technically, but he's a boy. Uh, I mean, it's different instances. Like, maybe I should let my little cousin answer this know question. How to prioritize. Okay, that's it. I was about to say that something along oh, the lines. Like, let's let's about, get the list. A long list. Wait, wait, like, a boy and a nigga. A boy is a nigga that don't care, take care of his kids. That's your biggest responsibility. <laughs> boy is a nigga. <laughs> what about the nigga that's a boy that don't have kids? Yeah, right. But I was say that. I was gonna drop a quote, but y'all be killing me for the Go quote. Go ahead, bro. Drop a quote. Go ahead. You dropped one in a couple weeks, man. Get a quote. I feel like Go maturity. Ahead. No, maturity is when your your needs and your wants become the same thing. I feel like a boy is just somebody who. No, I'm I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to keep it in depth. <laughs> Because he's trying to just say it regular, like I it's try, just a sentence. I, try, I think maturity nah, is. Cause y'all, <laughs> nah, because y'all be killing me, bro. But I feel like that's what maturity is. When your needs and your wants are the same thing. I try to keep it out of He don't want to say Chris Featherson at the like, end. Like, no. Nope. Dash. Dash. Chris Featherson. Dash. Or, or C. I, dot. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I think maturity is. He said it like it was a part of the conversation. <laughs> that's the quote, my nigga. Nah. I don't fuck with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck with y'all because y'all be y'all, y'all, y'all be like this. I try. No, I, 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 I was like this. Shit. I was like this. Go ahead. I feel like maturity is when um yeah, you, needs you, you and wants align. Doing that, he's like no. I mean, y'all be killing me for the question. That's how you, you normally say it. No, yeah, I don't just, fucking say it. No, that's how I say Nigga, him. The lights go down. Yo, you just somber shit. You can do that. We gotta shoot at night. First of all, you know we can do that. We can't do it with the sun beaming through. Nigga, you can turn the sun down. You can turn the sun down. What you throwing out? Oh, nigga, we can do that what Sunday. What you doing, nigga? It, yo, and it did dim a little bit. It did. Okay. <laughs> Cosmic universe is on my side. God bro. damn, boy. That's why he's sweating. <sighs> he used all his power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like doing this, but... Uh, I can't stand you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Look oh, at okay. this nigga, Koi, bro. Yo, Koi works a 15-hour shift. Oh, my Koi God. Koi fish. I wonder if y'all gonna hear Koi that. Koi fish. Like he's snoring. Oh my god. He's snoring over there, bro. He's gonna turn that mic. What you down. dreaming about, bro? New cameras? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and, and there's the middle finger. There it is, right there. Koi being girl DM's like, yo, I got that cannon. Why are you sitting like this little <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what? Will are you scared? 
<laughs> so like Carl Thomas. Like, what's Have wrong y'all asked Willie? Willie, Willie, what has what, what has your, your what segment? has your dad taught you, bro? Hmm? What has your dad taught you in these twelve years of living? Hard work, dedication. Ooh, Ooh. Mm. drop that's it. We be saying at the football games. Floyd? You're not Floyd. Yeah, that's what we got from the money. I know that, but y'all not Floyd though. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. Hard we gotta work on that form. So how do you? How do you <laughs> <laughs> How do you apply that uh, how do you apply in that your everyday? If you really want something. Don't talk somber. We need to hear you. Get in that mic, bro. Try to, try if, if you really get want that mic. something, like, crazy. put your mind to it. Don't let anything distract you mm-hmm. at all. Like girls. But girls be distracting you? Not really. He ain't really about hmm? girls. He just holds hands. They're not a distraction. Right, that's, that's not a distraction. You need both your hands. You need both your hands to grab your goals, bro. Ooh. <laughs> See, and I thought what I was about to say was a little bit more true. So I'm glad he said that. You was about, I was about to say, to say something wild. <laughs> Thank you. What? Nah, that's real. Go ahead. Go. You got anything hey, else? Say it. Our best lessons introduce are it. As, our, our best lessons are learned as uh, in our childhood. Right. Are you gonna t- how you know? You been an adult? Off, nigga? The fuck you that's about? true. I mean, what they are talking though. about. They how are? you know? Lessons Shit, you? I learned some of my best lessons uh, years ago. Yeah, me too. One no kid. One no child. Step parents. What about step parents? I wasn't, if you asked me this question during the stepfather thing, I didn't want to be a stepfather, to be honest. You don't. You don't want to be what? That, Why the hell are you thinking about that now? Right. I'm just saying because. How you ain't never kissed nobody. You ain't even think I, about I, I never wanted to be a stepfather. <laughs> you, you ain't even step off the stoop. No, because like. Facts. And that's the only one I'm going to let Chris I'm Yeah, I'm going to let him ride. <laughs> that's the one, Chris. Good job. <laughs> you ain't jumped off the porch yet. Stoop kid. Okay, no, 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 okay. Mm. So, <laughs> your, are your parents together? Are his parents together? No. So how would you feel about step parents over you? I already got that. Oh, you already got it. I was in the bathroom. No, no you were sitting right there. You're, you asked it's him about step parents forever. You asked Lil Willie about step parents. No, you're asking him if he has step parents. I asked him how he feels about having oh, a step yeah, parent, yeah. y'all. I didn't hear that, that part. Did not have the question sounded. No, it was it, weird. It yeah, was it was weird. I don't know. I said, I, "How do you feel about step parents over you?" Like. Being your step parent, like over you, like presiding over you. Oh, okay. Still weird though. I feel like I get it. I feel like having step parents really changes your life. Okay. Mm. How so? It's like a big time change, and like I can't explain it. I see. Do you? (laughs) It is right. I see. Do you like it? Pause. No. No. It's okay to say no. I don't. I've never. Y'all haven't. No, you haven't. Your your parents were always together. No, I have a stepdad. You did? Yeah. I didn't. Okay, I didn't know that. How did you feel about that? You said half. You still have. I have still have a stepdad. Okay, how do like, you feel about that? I don't know. Like it was always. He was always like cool. Like, did he teach you anything? Did your your dad didn't? Teach yeah, you? he told me how to be. He told me a lot of responsibility. He told me like life lessons. Like I used to always talk to him about everything. Like I at one point I had him and my dad. So mm-hmm. yeah. it was like that's dope. I got like. My dad was more like straightforward. He was more like positive. Like he's so not. He's tell, he told me what I want to hear a lot, a lot. But he would tell me what I need to hear too. But my dad was just he gonna tell me what I need to hear. Mm-hmm. No, no question about it. Mm-hmm. Like it was no sugarcoating it. Like <clears throat> me and Lydia's situations are different because she's known her stepdad Since basically his like whole her whole life. Yeah, me too. Five. Yeah, but and, I mean, and my stepmom technically, she, my dad just got married like. A year or two ago. Okay, well, I'm old as hell, and it don't even feel. It's not the same. Right. You know? I think that um, calling her on first though, name basis. Yeah, she's mm-hmm. just Sabrina. Hi, Julia. Yeah. <laughs> I think that even and she's though, cool. you know, my stepdad's been around since I was small. Like my earliest yeah. memories, he he's in them. Yeah. And stuff like that, but um, even so, I think it teaches you sort of like to keep your mind open. I can because see that. you can learn from other people. Yeah, you can learn too. from anybody. You know, like, but there are those people. And he love like, you. He love you like you his own. And, you know, anyway. and they're yeah. like, I'm not listening. To you. You're not my mom. You're not my dad. Yeah. But when you have a step parent, you have to allow someone who's not that Blood. figure to you yeah. to become that figure. Yeah, I never had one of those moments. Like you're not my dad. I never had one of those. I see, I feel like me now. I would have. I would have like that. I would already prepare for that one day. Yeah. Right. God damn it, Kareem! You're not my dad. <laughs> what would you? What would you say to that? <laughs> Nothing. You just can't say shit. All right, bet. <laughs> like your mom calls me dad. No. Daddy. I wouldn't say that. That's not my rebut. <laughs> See. All right, lady. I don't know if you want to talk about this. Maybe you what? do. Maybe you don't. 
How do you feel about your biological father? <sighs> if you want to talk about it. I him. have... It's like... Um, yeah, we can talk about it. It's not a big deal. I don't know. He came into my life mad late. Like, I didn't meet him until I was 20. And he found me on Facebook. But I feel like found should have really big quotations around it. Because, nigga, you knew where the fuck I was at. Right. But, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because I and met then, him. I know, knew him before you were even here. Right. But now he wants to, you know, have a relationship with me and be close. I'm like, okay, we can have a relationship. Cool. You know? It'd be kinda, it's kind of cool to figure out what parts of me came from him. and blah, 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 But we're not even close like that. And All right, question. He wants to be that close to me, but I'm like, I have a stepdad who filled that void mm-hmm. completely. So there's nothing that I actually need from him. How do you feel about him trying to, like, be a fa- like fathering you? Oh, he hasn't tried. Oh, I'm gonna say, but all right. What if he did try? Would you be receptive to, it or be like, nah, nigga, fuck out of here. Like, you missed like 20 years. I would no, say, you, I would nah, nigga, fuck out of here. You met him at. Nah, I, I would like, say it for her. Nah, nigga, fuck out. You here. met him at 20. Yeah. So I feel like after that, you just gotta settle for a friendship. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, like that's that's right. what I'm saying. nah, nigga, fuck out of here. I'm, like, yeah. I'm already grown. I've yeah. my, I already learned the lessons that you should have taught me. Yeah, somebody all this else shit. Gave them to me. If I'm somebody else is taking care, and as a friend, as a friend, you can still teach somebody. Yeah, you can. But you just can't. There's no more. You can't come down on somebody. And be like, yo, no, you can't do this. Like, that's that, that's no dead. Yeah, in your yeah that's dead. Yeah, yeah, you should definitely watch how you speak. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> watch your tone. Watch it. Said, watch it, bud. Yeah. Damn. That <laughs> See, that's what's happened, crazy, though, right? bro. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't though. But There's if no we way do it could. have those moments where it's like, do you need anything? You want me to give you anything? You, yeah, you got money? Da, 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 da. I'm like, I'm okay. Yeah. And and I'm not saying. I'm not saying this as in you should be looking for something in return from your kid, but that's part of like the parenthood life cycle. Like, after a certain point, your kids take care of you. Mm-hmm. Like, when you don't take care of your kids and you try to come back in their life, I ain't trying to deal with that <laughs> fuck you shit because honestly, you can't say nothing to your kid if you won't dare. And then, like, there's nobody to be there once you reach old age. Like, you ain't do shit for your kids. Mm-hmm. So now you just by yourself. Yeah. Do y'all think it's a difference between dads and fathers? All the, all the, all the Hell yeah. Days. I mean, I think what's, what's y'all different? Like, what's what's higher to y'all, fathers or dads? Dad. I think it's yeah, it depends on what. Because dad is such I'm not a calling father. Term. I'm not calling my dad father. You know, yeah. when you, dad is like, damn, that's real. This <laughs> nigga is over there snoring. Yo, Coy, wake Coy, up! What, what, look, what the what the middle finger still out? <laughs> <laughs> the middle finger is still out. Nigga, bro. Said, <laughs> nigga <laughs> said, fuck, staying awake. That nigga said, nah, I wouldn't leave this shit out for y'all just in case y'all mention me. I would, I would rate um. Dad higher than father. Oh uh, yeah, of course. I think father should so they should call it dad's dad. That's you can be some, you can be I somebody's thought. biological father. You're not calling your biological father dad. Should Just they call it dad's day? Dad is some like. Y'all heard me. I didn't. We ignore yeah. you. Yeah, I, I think it's just you, because bro. I want. But y'all just said we we mute and brisk. Happy yeah. dad's day, man. Mute brisk. You do want yeah. Everybody should want the the word father to mean more. But your father should be your dad. I mean. Dad is when there's a bond I learned involved. I what fatherhood should look like from my dad. Yeah, but that makes sense? see, don't say no, 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 yeah, yeah. Right. But like some so like some people are baby daddies, but they not fathers. Mm, we getting deep into. So you test. hold father higher. I hold father I like, like not the 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 literal sense, like like mm-hmm. words, but like I think a father is somebody that. Like your dad's a father. Yeah, you a lot. You a mm-hmm. lot. Yeah, you a lot. Like a father. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm alone. I'm I feel alone y'all. Her. I just like, feel like you not calling the daddy. nigga that didn't take care of you, dad, ever. Right. No, but I'm not. Probably not. I'm not calling him my father either. Father. Like you just ain't. Yeah, you just yeah. a nigga that. <laughs> they got me father, here. Technically, you're a father, father can be somebody who just you know what I mean pays paying his child support and That's he's, what he's shown, are, though. No, no, no. If he's just paying his child support, he's paying his child support. He's showing up on his weekends. You know what I mean? He's some attentive, don't pay for but shit. a dad. I'm saying, but some do. I don't know, nigga. I'm I feel like not, a dad. I'm not not taking care of my kids. Right. That's oh, what I'm God. saying. But I know, I know of people that just you know, are just doing enough. I feel yeah, like that's a, I feel like that's a father. You just doing enough. And your dad. I feel like when you go, I just feel like dad is such an endearing title. I'm not. You're not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not calling nobody else pops. That sounds crazy. I feel, and I, I understand what you're saying. I get what you're. I get where you're coming from. But like, that's in the like literal sense. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. What, because um, Kadeem said something earlier about um, his dad, him learning from his dad as far as what to do and what not to do. I learned the same thing. Yeah. Y'all want to share some of the things y'all learned not to do from y'all dads? I just, like, my parents split up, so I seen yeah how he hurt her, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mine my, my split, too. Yeah, so. so it's like, I seen it. I seen the arguments. I seen 
whatever, whatever. And now, because she's gone, I have her, I have her journal. I've, I've been reading that. I, I see it all now. I'm like, damn. That definitely is like a lesson. Like, don't, you know what I mean? It's just certain shit. Like, that's your family, bro. Like, I don't, that's, there's part of a reason why I don't have no kids at this point. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, yeah, y'all can joke around like, oh, this nigga don't wear condoms, but my pull-out game is strong. Okay. Well, maybe you shoot. I can't wait. And I'm not. That's I the, can't I, wait to that. So, look, no, when I got to a certain, no, sidebar. Episode reading Rainbow. 47, Man, I can't wait for it. Listen. 47. Episode 46. Listen, sidebar. Because I, once I got like, either, I think it was 29 or 30. The fuck are you smelling over there? Back up, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. What, what did you do? rub and smell? What? Like, he went, he did something with his hands and he said. Bro, we've all done it, bro. What you do? Anyway. We've what? all done it. We've all you done sm- it. No, you didn't rub the couch. We're yes, going like, to roll this. You rubbing your feet, bro? We all got to see this. You rubbing your feet? You rubbed your feet and smelled? That's gross. What'd you rub, bro? Pause. <laughs> you picked your nose? What'd you do? <laughs> We're going to see it. All right, anyway. I remember the 75 <laughs> minute. Yeah, don't worry the about 75 it. minute mark. Remember. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a scary phrase. I didn't. I, ain't scared. Scared. I used to it. think, I'm like, maybe I am shooting blanks. It's no way. You said you, did you say you went to the doctor? Yes, I did. That's what I was telling him. Your sperm cock can be high and still shooting blanks. Oh nah, shit! Anyway. Yes, they can be. Oh, educate yeah. me, oh, can they, can not, oh. they cannot be oh. potent sperm. They can be empty. They can be. Hold up! Points. Hold up! How, but how? You can have a whole no, bunch of empty how? shell cases. Is your is your pullout game strong or is your your sperm count weak? Which one is it? Mine is high and my pullout game is strong. Yeah, your <laughs> so you will never be know because your pullout game is strong. Yeah, but I've I, there's when been I, some instances where you where I have not out. pulled out. Nigga, I'm a sh- I'm a shooter, <laughs> and they. <laughs> Obviously, it didn't hit his spot. No, it hit the it, You hit the backboard. Yeah. Boom, hey, look, get it out of here. Look, I don't like, to, I don't want to talk about that other stuff, but it's been some, it's been, uh, New sperm was like, uh, no, we chilling today. <laughs> nah, nah, some, <laughs> we not running today. Nah. Shout out to Walgreens. All right, whoa, buddy. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga had went from level one <laughs> to a thousand. <laughs> I'm dead. This nigga said, shout out hey, to Hey, if I could, uh. You know, I'll let it. <laughs> you already said what you uh, you your dad taught you as far as like what not to do, um, or like how not to be. My dad indirectly taught me we'll like how that. to deal with my anger. My dad had like anger issues, and it kind of like ruined a lot of relationships that he had, like even with family and close friends. Mm, that's why you're so mellow. Sometimes, but if I get oh, pushed, so you, got, at, oh, so you got a dark side. I do. I do. You're a Gemini, I know. Yeah. I, once I'm once I'm there, like I'm I'm there. It's, very hard. No, I'm the same way. Down. Young Rush has asked me a question. What'd you mm-hmm. ask, Young Rush? He asked about parents splitting up. What do you want to know specifically, bro? Because you had young parents. They were young. So they probably weren't going to be together anyway. My parents got married. Ouch. Young. My parents was like 23, 24. Mm-hmm. Maybe earlier. No, no. They had me by that time. So yeah, about 21. Young. Too young to be married. 21 is young as hell. What is that? Ooh, this is a deep question. You say that one deep time. Deep ass you question. What did he say? What did he say? Hear him. Stop them. talking somber. What did what you say? Like the ones that see their parents, like you know the way Together. they, they yeah, the ones that see how they develop and end up splitting. So young Russ said, which kids are more fortunate? The ones that get more to see their parents together and have a healthy relationship, right? Versus the ones that they weren't together, they split up, but Seen they can co-parent. Seen them together. Yeah. It depends on how they split See, up. It's, yeah, because I see my split up. I seen them together. It depends on the relationship. Even, even if even if they uh, split up. Like, it depends. Drake you, you bars for the episode. Tox, you got a lot of toxic uh, relationships out here. A lot of... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all probably were fortunate because y'all seen... I, I would say y'all parents had some loving moments where y'all, you, you, you've of seen course. them I think everybody's like together. Like, like together, together. Some of these yeah. people see well, their they mom getting beat. Their dad's doing crazy I shit. Yeah, I meant like in the pos- the most positive aspect. Okay. Right. How do you well, miss- I agree then. How I do you miss- talking about them, them relationships where he they- abandoned the holy feeling his mom every I wanna, day. I want to ask, because Lydia could probably relate too. How do you feel, like you've never seen your parents together though. you never seen your parents together. Mm-mm. So how does that, that changes the dynamic too, Lil Willie. Like you've never seen your mom with your dad. They've never been together. They got to. They're literally. You don't see it because they don't. At least they were friends at first. Maybe. Would you rather them be friends or would you rather them be uh just separate? I'd rather them be friends because at least least I know every time they talk, it's not about arguing. You think your parents argue? Last time I heard, my dad fought my whole family. 
Don't tell your parents. Yeah, like, no, so, uh, but honestly, um, out. <laughs> honestly, there's nothing and uh, there's nothing wrong with the argument. Sometimes, sometimes parents have to argue to get to figure things out. Yeah. Now, once they start yelling and they call each other names, that's yes. when it starts getting out of hand. But if yeah. they just, you know what I mean, this this a dispute or a disagreement, that means they're trying to figure it out. I don't, I don't, I don't want to have co-parents my, with you. Uh, my kids see me arguing or, or shit. We already had that like discussion. Like, if we got something to like talk about, we just going like dead it in front of them, and then you know. But I feel like you should. I feel like you then should. You should show. You should show the argument, oh, but you should also true. show the resolution. But it depends on what you're talking about. <clears> I understand there's certain yeah. certain things. We ain't gonna talk about everything in front of our kids. Yeah, that's not yeah, but that's not true. You don't, your kids don't have to see you argue. I'm, a, I'm talking to her. Like you don't have to. See, your kids don't have to see you like arguing and then, like resolve it for them to not be able to like deal with conflict. But you, you can teach them. That. I'm gonna be you transparent with, with y'all. <laughs> I see my parents argue. Every time my parents argue, my dad bounced. So that was kind of like that kind of fucked me up in relationships because anytime I felt like the shit was getting too crazy, I'm walking. Yeah, dead. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it does affect you. You gotta, if you're gonna argue, you gotta show the resolution. I never saw the right. resolution for real. Yeah. Right. So it, it didn't teach me how to even resolve. Yeah, they still together. So they resolved. But they something. split, yeah. came back, split. Yeah. Sometimes my, my dad was in the military, so my mom didn't always go with him to where he went, so he'd be gone for like years. So okay. it's kind of like a mix. But I never seen them like actually resolve issues. I just, they just still together. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can see that. Okay. I just heard the arguments. Some of them, once you get older, they be a little different. Yeah. I didn't know what I didn't know what arguments was with like with my parents. Mm-hmm. First of all, I was six when they split, mm-hmm. but I never seen them argue. Yeah, like I seen them like disagree, but I like heard, not in I, the full, <clears throat> like I heard the my arguments more than I seen them. Okay, like really? their room was across the hall, oh. so I could just hear them. My mom going ham. Mm-hmm. Damn, yeah, that small stupid. person in there going dumb, <laughs> <laughs> snapping mm. on it. <laughs> yo, going yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yo, going crazy. <laughs> you can leave. Nah, like, fuck that bitch. You was what? I was like, damn. Ooh. I can't even. You know what I'm saying? So you heard the arms moving? Man. Somebody was wearing <laughs> moving furniture in there. Shit. Moving furniture in this shit. <laughs> God damn. You know, you know, does that bother you, Will Willie? Yeah. Did your parents have together? Hmm? Does it bother you? I mean, I would like them to be, but I'm pretty sure they split up for a reason. And if mm-hmm. they did, and they're trying to stay together, it wouldn't only hurt, it wouldn't only hurt me, but it would hurt themselves too. That's a mature thing to say. Like, he's super thoughtful. That's a mature thing to say. But that's why you Russell Wilson. You would like to think. Russell Wilson, son. How you how you feel about your dad dating Sierra? <laughs> like being married to him. What? How you feel about that? Like your real father. <laughs> Are you mad that you're not with them? <laughs> Is that why you're playing football? You trying to like get <laughs> you trying to get Russell Wilson's uh, approval? Is that what's going on? Tell us. I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> why? You... That face looks crazy, bro. When oh, we put man. it on the face, you're gonna see it. Oh, it's gonna be crazy when you see that. Face. You got any light question you wanna ask? We got a couple minutes left. Light what you was asking me the other day? Like easy question, you know? Yeah, something not as heavy as how do you feel about when your parents are not together? Whose kids get better? That's a deep question. Right. Listen, and you said it in a real. Mm. Well, do you think it's better for your parents to be friends? Mm. Oh, okay. Be well, friends or not? They, uh, they to, should be. To co-parent healthily. Respect is always important. Yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily believe like they got to be the best of friends, but you should always Y'all respect be that friends. person. Ain't you friends with your? Mm. The whole <laughs> time we've been separated and not together, we've we've upheld respect. Like I never disrespect that. That looks stupid on my part. That's the person I chose to have a kid with, so. Yeah. Any anything that matter at the end of the day is that they both love you. They both try to make the best decisions for you. You talk to your mom every day. I'm sure you talk to your dad pretty much every day. You with us most of the time. We try to teach you how to be a young man. Obviously we're doing a good job. That's all that matters. Just gotta get you lined up. You want, look, when he's ready, bro. Get you in the bun. When he's ready. Let me call him Little Nip at school. Cut that joint, I'll get the wave, bro. Don't get the wave. No, don't, don't get listen, the wave. Your head probably shake funny. We don't even know what your head looks <laughs> like. Wow. Yes, you do. I don't remember, man. Oh, I remember. Oh, hey. Hey, I remember that video. You got a pic? Oh, I'm going to show them later. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. You was mad you got your hair cut, but people was feeling it. Because <laughs> he won't do nothing with it. Got it buzzed up. He still ain't doing nothing with it. Nothing. About to get buzzed. Oh. Curl in the front. <laughs> what are you doing with that curl in the front? Hey. You want to be on a Disney show so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Corbin Blue. They still off him right now, bro. 
Don't do that. You want to be on a Disney show so bad. Well, no, nah, I was going to say ask something that don't have nothing to do with Father's Day. None of that. Do your thing. Yeah, whatever you want to talk about. Oh, okay. What do you think we're going to do? We're going to conference finals at least. No, you're not. <laughs> I did want to ask y'all this. I did want to ask y'all this. And it is like referring back to Father's Day. How do y'all feel like the promotion for Father's Day is? Like Mother's Day is like Mother's Mother's Day. Y'all saw that 50 spectacle? Cent poll? No. No, I didn't. And he was what? talking about Father's Day, like <laughs> they niggas get tools and shit. Right. <laughs> niggas get ties. Mm-hmm. Niggas get like. Bullshit. Right. You get screwdrivers. Mamas get trips. TVs, rings, mm-hmm. yeah. flowers, dinner. Like half the time, yeah. niggas don't even know when Father's Day niggas is. Just like want that Father's a week Day before, you like, oh damn, Tuesday is Father's Day. I ain't gonna lie, that's what happened this week. <laughs> See, niggas don't even get that Father's Day neck from a jump. Wow. From a jump. What? Oh, that Father's Day neck. You trying to get Father's Day neck from a jump? Oh yeah, that Father's Day top. I like that better. What? Nobody's topping me off. I'm chilling. No one's topping you off. You chilling, Kadeem. Nobody's topping me off. No one. No one's topping you off. This nigga off always want to dispute what I say. I can say niggas love vagina. Niggas don't really love vagina like that. I'm saying I said <laughs> what? <laughs> I never said. Oh y'all. <laughs> He's always anti breast <laughs> God damn. Nice. That's a nice day. That's really not nice, man. Nah, it's a, it's, a, it's kind of nice time. Rain later, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I have a question. You got three yeah. minutes left. No, it's two minutes. Like a, <laughs> a totally unfather's day related question, right? Thank you. Oh, shit. Do you ever wish, like, you know, you and your whole season at some point, do you ever wish you met a particular person at a different period of your life? Oh, yeah. All the time. For sure. Yeah. Me too. So I just met this dude, and I was like, hold up. No. Dang, I this wish is I had current. Met you when I was so you saying you could. No, 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 no. Stop. So you're saying you you got a guy right now. Now we got to get into it. You got a guy right now. I know a person. But you don't want to stop playing. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? That's, that's crazy. That's what you're saying. That's crazy. You, you know how crazy you sound? I'm not even there. I'm not in that headspace at all. You but, sound crazy. But I know, all right, all right. I, cognitively I don't know how long we're going to go on. on this. this is a good topic to get into. What headspace do you What headspace do you think you need to be at? Nigga, I don't know, but I know I'm not there right now. How you know this? Because I know me. I'm very good at knowing myself. I know what I need and when I need it. Have y'all had sex? You're not answering these kind of <laughs> type of questions today. So, so that's a no. So y'all had sex? No, that means you smack. Yeah, he smacked. He smacked. And that shit was probably, that shit was probably <laughs> mediocre. Nah, she talking about she wish he didn't. Right. Yeah. She's like, nah. He so like, it wasn't mediocre, but it wasn't a 10 either. So he blew like your eight. back out. Nah, that's what like, he, Wow. About an 8. I'm not talking about it. About an 8 or 9? But I'm saying, like, as a candidate, as a whole... Like he's really nice. He's got a he good blew job. your back he out. Head, he got his head on straight. Oh, his head he is what? Good. What happened? That jawbone is fire. Up, up. <laughs> his <laughs> jawbone is fire. Yo, that's what you call it now? <laughs> what? Young kids are new. y'all new. Y'all what call it the jawbone. His no, jawbone. I was being serious, Kadeem, but if you, you want to go metaphorically, the coolest too, nigga on this I'll couch, man. That. I'm hot as shit. I'm cool. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just like, and it doesn't. Even, it's not even like a sad thing. I'm just like, damn, I'm marinating right now. Plastic bag. It's one of those moments where like. You know, bitches never want the nigga they should be with at the at the time. You know what I mean? Like very. So if you understand that, why not change the narrative? Why not change the narrative? That's that is. See that? Y'all are y'all are not logical creatures. (laughs) Do girls? I was about to say girls. How do you understand that and say no? Fuck that. Do girls really want the right guy? I think they want the right guy at right the right now. Time. Yeah, so that means he, we they want the right they time. want the right time, that's and then they're gonna find it. I don't feel like a whole. That's stupid. I don't feel like a whole phase is necessary. I'm just gonna. I, I want to debunk that narrative. That shit is not. Necessary. That shit is not necessary. It's not. So whoever is necessary. necessary. So you want to have fun? Is so that, do, but do, do y'all have fun together though? Is he fun? I've met him twice in my life. Is he fun? You met him okay. twice and he smacked. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh Liddy. God. He smacked yeah, you off two Liddy meetings? I... Fuck! Which one he, me- this is, this which one he smack at? Which one he smack at? The second one? What are you talking Please about? Please say the second one. Please say the second one. Okay. He smacked the second? The okay. Second. Lydia! What? You talk about, you being a savage all day, but you tiptoeing around these questions right now. <laughs> tiptoeing I don't want to hear the day. answers. Okay. All right. Like, blow up all my so you're not in the headspace right now. You feel like that's the guy that you could, you could see a future with. 
She don't want to see the future. This is a candid, like, like this is a. But to be honest with y'all, I don't even believe you no more now that y'all only met twice. That nigga might be crazy. Right, you don't know yet. You don't and know that nigga. The other thing is, I'm know a know fucking yet. mom. When you're that's, a mom and you have a son, dating is covert. You can't just let your baby see you at six, seven, eight, nine different people oh Lord, while you're trying people out. You should be trying out six, seven, eight people, lady. <laughs> Shut up. My point is not. What's wrong right. with you? My little cousin's no, my a hot girl. My point is, you can't you stay let in the every nigga room. that comes into your life as a candidate. That you can't let that person <laughs> see your children. That was actually funny. That was actually a good one. And, and no, at the <laughs> co- at the core of her question, there's a good question, but we can't no, get past the other what, No, I already asked her what it, I already asked her what I think the good question was. What headspace do you feel like you need to be at though to really like and oh, like man. really take advantage of the, meeting this dude? One where my mind and body and soul are healthy. What is that? My mean? Body are you is healthy. okay? Okay. My mind is not. What's wrong with your mind? You're my not. My soul. My soul is not at rest. You you don't see yourself settling down yet, being like you know what I mean. In a routine, I, I hate that settled down moniker. No, but because I, huh? I feel like with a healthy relationship, there has to be some kind of routine, and mm-hmm. some people run away from it because they don't want to be in that routine. That shit gets boring sometimes. Yeah, so no, that's not it. I don't mind that. My life is routine. I just squeeze in bits of excitement. So you feel like he's gonna mess up the excitement? You can't have the no. excitement with him. No, that's not what I'm saying. So what is the problem? <sighs> What what is wrong with your I mind? Told you. It was, I, I don't told want you. to be it's wrong whack. to anyone but myself right now. You can you can belong to yourself. You can belong to yourself right. and still be and in a that's relationship. That's it. I don't want you to. You can still have your no no feelings. honest no for real because you can still have your life and be with somebody. But I don't. I'm not in the mood to consider anybody else's feelings. Right, so okay. What okay. Ne- no, that's that's cool. All right. So what happens days. when you're in that mindset for so long that you get passed up? Now that you you've been in that mindset for That's like X I'm amount of months, that is why I would wish that I was in the right headspace, but I'm not. But who's to say you ever gonna be there then? And then you mess you miss out on a guy like that. Lydia, you that's can, how life works. No, honestly, no, that's not how that's life how works. Life that's you're no, no, choosing no, 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 it to be. But I would no. not dare to get into something when I'm Lydia, not in the right no. space to be in. You can't come into the situation unhealthy. That's I respect that honesty, and I've been there before mm-hmm. where I was like, yo, I'm not ready for this shit, but I knew it was a good thing. Mm-hmm. You control your mind state. Period. And it obviously is not a good enough thing to even make you want to change. Right, but you can't control your mind state in an instant like that. It hasn't been that long. That shit was not all that. And to be honest with you, it's your second time, man. You got to get... You drop the the dime and be like, oh, I feel different now. It's it's a complicated um, discussion because y'all only met twice. I kind of feel it on both ends. Because I I try to drop shits quick and that nigga gave it at mid. I don't give out mid. No, no, no. We talking about her. I'm selling but Ed. that's a good I'm point. Somebody, Lord he's and selling Savior, that, he's selling that Reggie. Uh, oh, that's a good point. That Reggie? Not, that's why I say not, like it's complicated because y'all more, y'all haven't really put in a, a, a lot of time. <laughs> Quit fasting. So we can't stop, even really talk about it. Y'all got to put in more time. Stop on your mm-hmm. yeah, right. on your Tom Shepard game. I can't remember what it was. Watch, watch. You 24. What do you feel like you need to? Where do you feel like you need to get to? What do you mean where? Like, are there certain? Milestones in your life that you feel like you need to accomplish well, before one, you can be with somebody. That should be so irritating, bro. Okay. Right. And two, I need to get my <laughs> like mind. Right. Okay. I don't know how to explain it better, but like you I've feel- got some deep-seated issues. Fact. Okay. Are you trying to work night? them out? Huh? Are you trying to work them out? Like, are you trying to figure them out? Yeah. Are you taking steps to like cure those? Those. Yeah, I mean, I used to go to counseling for all my problems or whatever, but now I don't go to counseling, but I still have <laughs> problems. my problems. <laughs> but now I have the tools that I learned in counseling that I like, you know, I keep at work within myself. So, so like, you have exercised the demons. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> but like, I'm about to go get my master's in counseling. Like, I learned how to <laughs> cope with things. So that's, that's a tricky what I'm doing. And when I get my mind right to the point where I don't think I'll bring anything negative into a situation, then but that's where I'll be. You're never going to be perfect. Oh, I know that. So, okay, if we could put a percentage on it, what percentage are you at right now? In terms of like... Being ready for that. Yeah, what percentage do you need to be at and what percentage are you at? Because you're never going to be 100%. Oh, I'm super low on 100%. I'm like... 20%. Damn. Damn. So where you, I feel like she's lying. 20%. But where do you feel like you need to be at? At least 
five. Okay. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, that's real. And that's your, and that's so you're at 20, so you got like a gap of like 50. Yeah. Shit. What's your Yikes. percent? What's your uh, yearly percentage average? <laughs> how, how much How much ground do you cover? Right. In a year. It's going to be 35. Hey, uh, what's hey, your coverage no, plan? Hey, Bill, what's up? I'm ready. I'm always. <laughs> she should never way. date a, deal named, a nigga named hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. What's good? Please okay. don't date a nigga named Bill. I'm always in a relationship. Little Bill. Like, I have When was your last? Okay. How long you been single? Oh damn! Yeah, you know. this year? Exactly. Yeah, you know. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Exactly, y'all. Huh? I didn't know that, lady. So I'm like, you feel? Why would I be ready right now? Yeah, like, fuck all that. Is he ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh uh, well, damn. So he's gonna have by a plan. Yeah. He's gonna string time. him along. No, I'm not. Pulling I'm him like, by his dick. Right. By what? by his jawbone. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> no. Out here getting that jawbone hey, for no reason. Um, no. We're 96 minutes in doing the pod. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> lady is getting jawbone. Whoa. <laughs> you get your head? You got to chill. You get your she head? said it's jump on fire. Questions. She already said it already. She said if you going to put it in those terms, then yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that jaw That shit was whack. That shit was weak. What are you talking about? That nigga was down there licking your inner thigh. I didn't even know it. What? He wow. didn't get it. His trial licks was all over here. What? Out, here out here looking to gooch. Sometimes that. <laughs> I didn't even see no butthole the whole time. <laughs> she tastes salty. What the fuck is you what? doing? What? <laughs> <laughs> Never that. Ew. Never guys, that. Guys. End it, bro. End it, end it, end it, end it. Never ever. Oh, no. We had 96. Hashtag. End it, bro. Pussy Yo, prep. That shit's so funny. That's important. Pussy prep is important. Pussy, Pussy, prep is important. Pussy Never what? Never that. Pussy prep. Oh, trial oh. No, I'm talking about like on the girl game. Girl like game wax. Your ass, your yeah. All right, I'm going to get y'all too because I, I kind of got. Right. I'm trying to see. No, I'm trying to see what's up with. Because I remember y'all was talking about hair. So y'all girls need to be bald, bald? I like girls to get waxed. Yeah, bald. Y'all need them bald to fuck? You don't gotta be. No, no, no. nobody has I said that. I hate to do that. I wish Corey was up. I need no, no bush. I'm not. I don't yeah. want a bush. No, ain't nobody fucking that's with bush. bush. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I, I, nobody I, saying open up no, those stubble. Nope, can't yeah, do it. Nobody saying. Okay. Nobody's checking. I'm that. just checking. Yeah, what? Face off. You the one stuff. nigga that was like, oh, so, so you like hairy cat? <laughs> nobody even <laughs> says <laughs> words like that. You said like the hairy puss. Yeah, exactly. The hairy puss. Because I remember that was what was about. Because I said puss, and I was like, that it sounds hairy. And it was like, oh, so you like it hairy? I was like, no, nah, not necessarily. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, that hair ain't stop. Yeah. That hair ain't stopping no dingling, nigga. That, that bush though. That's it might stop the tongue though. I ain't. Yeah, no, yeah, no. I'm not trial licks through the hair. It's crazy. Right, that's crazy. You're not. Cutting, that is a you're turn not off. cutting my tongue. That bro. is a turn off. <laughs> yeah. When well, you got to do this. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Got to swim through it. There it is. That hasn't happened to me in a long. I think women got to know. They they no, like no. Nah, you can't. That's disgusting. Pussy prep. At least shave. Please, please. But if you can afford to get Brazilians on a regular, make a make a, a landing strip or something. Something. Yeah, something. I like the landing strip. I bet you do. No, don't even try to flip it. I see him. I see him. He like he's yeah, working. He like, How can I flip this? <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Look, stop, bro. Let's stop. They got that Boeing, nigga. Oh All right, guys. This is just another podcast. Trying to land at your LAX. Nineteen. Happy Father's Day to everybody Happy out there. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, all the dads. Yeah. Yes, sir. All what up, happens. Ken Ken? Love you, baby. <laughs> that nigga's gonna go home, man. <laughs> what up, Ken Ken? Love what you. up, Ken Ken? You already know who it is. It's your pops. Love, Love you, you, baby. <laughs> all right. It's not a rap. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, I said some shit like. What up, Ken Ken? <laughs> I'm coming home with the din din. Hey, this is be episode 19. <laughs> Just another podcast. Please make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, follow us on Instagram, share the pod. Yo, these niggas. <laughs> What's up, Ken Ken? I'm coming home with the Those are the bars you got. <laughs> I got more, but I'm sure. Yo, just another podcast, aka Black Man Don't Black cheat. Man Don't Motherfucking Cheat, aka Shoot don't your shot Sunday. Rap, Shoot bro. your shot Sunday. Yeah, don't let Briss rap. <laughs> Shoot your shot Sunday. Yo, that's the next thing. Don't let Briss rap. Briss can't rap. <laughs> you know, hashtag Briss bars. When the niggas on, <laughs> when the niggas on uh, uh, Wild and Out, them niggas get up there and they do the old school Wild raps. Style. This nigga. That shit be hard. <laughs> No, no, that shit's funny, dude. yo. He a whole lot. That, that shit's funny. Be hard. What you thought was going <laughs> on? That's part of the shit. That shit's funny. <laughs> what, Chris? That shit's funny. What up, Ken Ken? Remember when Ken? Oh, come on. No, with the thing, that's dude. how niggas used to rap at Apple, nigga. <laughs> That's how niggas used to rap at no, Apple, nigga. Yes, we did. We, we niggas were real hard like, in a game. Like, smack nigga, we like, yo, nigga. 
<laughs> when the iPods hit the cue. <laughs> no. Nah. Nah. Like, what? <laughs> Hashtag nah. don't let Kadeem. Yeah, I think I ain't even right. With that, with the, the iPads get the, 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 the cue. <laughs> what, yeah. nigga? That's, why, that's how niggas rolled up? <laughs> Yo, nigga. <laughs> When the new when them new iPads drop, nigga. What? <laughs> I'm sure that's not how niggas. Oh my rap. god. <laughs> Yo, nigga, These nigga. niggas can't rap. <laughs> no, I rap better than I both y'all. Bars, nigga. Nigga. I rap both y'all niggas. No. You rap, you rap nigga. us. I rap better than both y'all niggas. Yeah, that's enough nigga. for you. You rap us. Nigga don't even wrap it up in we the bedroom. We did used to get bars off at the Apple Store though. All right, Chris. This nigga. What up, kid? I'm coming. Coming home with the din din. It's your dad with the win-win. Oh, my oh, God. God. Whoa. It's your dad with the win-win. Oh, this my rap. God. Mm. All right, guys. I got to play this nigga. What are we playing, man? 2K or Madden? L, it don't matter. That nigga said L either way. Damn. Yeah. I'm just practicing. Practicing for L. Wow. L. All right, Come guys. Come on, see how far you get. Oh, one shit. One me. See how far oh, you shit. get, sir. One okay. on one me. Buddy. One be one me. Buster. Longer than you were alive. So, so yeah, one you, don't, one you don't even understand again. All right. Uh, <laughs> he too movement slash tag. Uh, slash, slash tag. Go <laughs> home, bro. I told you this nigga's hot. Take that damn Take that jacket, jacket off, off, bro. God, Leo, layered ass. Hey, <laughs> it's 90 degrees outside here in a fucking His jean jacket. is tied. <laughs> all black on. So all that, all that, all that pants heat is insulated like a right. motherfucker. That shit is no, has no outlet. It's, all, it's coming up all the time. That's why this shit's sweating. This shit's steaming nigga, up this bitch. <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga turning Super Saiyan. <laughs> this nigga hot as shit. This nigga took his glasses off like it was going to make a difference. <laughs> That shit is not burning out your temperature, my nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sweating, man. I'm oh, hot. man. Yeah, <laughs> AKA <laughs> slash tag. <laughs> slash tag the iPods in the cube. <laughs> hey, we got three in the cube. Do they have iPods anymore? Oh, oh, iPods shit. is done, man, ain't it? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to wrap this shit up. Pause. Oh, boy. Mm-mm-mm. It's the only time. That's the K- it's the only. K- it's the only time Kadeem trying to wrap something up. Right. The only time. Now you want to wrap it up. <laughs> now you want to wrap it up. Now you want to wrap it up. Now you want to listen to BT. What ever happened to those campaigns? The, the, they the were rap. trash. We ain't been listening. What? Wrap it up. The wrap it up campaigns at the 106 in Park. Chris got a kid. Yeah, he did listen. <laughs> so what are you talking about? What? What that got to do with anything? You said wrap it up. Oh, wrap it up campaign. Oh, I'll wrap it up now. What y'all talking about? Oh, now. Nigga, kids are expensive. Strapped up shorty. I, I ain't guapped up like a dean. Oh my there it goes. Narrative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's gonna be a message. Good. Message. <laughs> Gotta have that in the sound bar. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have a sound soon. Soon come. All right, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> we appreciate you. We all about to jump on Koi. And the view. <laughs> Koi over there sleep. Slump. Shout out to my pops for the. You know, oh, I'm about to get banked. Get we ain't forgot. He about to do what? About to jump this nigga. He's gonna jump who? Oh, Ron. Ron. You gotta you get forgot. jumped, bro. Oh, what? Thanks for the woke up too. He was sleeping. Fortnite countries, 11 platforms. You know the drill. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, share the IG, share the YouTube. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Yeah. We out here. We got merch coming. We in the works. We got merch coming? Scary in the works. Oh, oh I ain't even know that. That's scary. It's scary, bro. Don't worry about it. It's scary hours. Don't worry about it. We're going to get them push shirts popping. Corey, you're going to be able to hit push the end button for shirts popping. What the fuck is a push short? This push, shit blue. Is this shit recording? I don't think so. No, that's good. I don't know. This is Corey. Yo, what if we ain't been recording the whole time? <laughs> Corey. So I'd be hot. Corey bro. going out in the front yard. <laughs> Corey is it done? Run. Is it all? Yeah, wrap this shit up. Thank you for the listen. All right, y'all. Hey, man, hit the button, bro. You gonna be, like, hit the hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I just got what y'all were saying. How long has shit been blue? I fuck with y'all little podcasts. Scotching all over these niggas. Kick rocks, baby. Let me count my figures. You know I'm a deliverer.